just look over. I'm not gonna worry about that. Hi, Morgana. What are you doing? Hi, pretty cat. All right. Let's get back to it. Uh oh, that's right. I was uh thirsting to death. All right. Uh, hold on one second. No. I gotta remember what the hell I. <laughs> <coughs> what the heck are we doing? Let's make a fire. Let's make some water so I don't thirst to death. Search the place for anything. Uh, I do recall we are kind of heavy. Yeah, we're very heavy. <laughs> that's that's right. All right. Is there any water up here for me? There's a windbreaker. Any water though? Just like the firearm cleaning kit. That's great. But like water. I'm going to just fucking dehydrate to death. I am very thirsty. No, I don't need that yet. Water. Any amount of water. Water. Sure. But also water. There's no water. Well, luckily I'm making some water. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not fuck. To carry this load for much longer. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're going to bed soon. What's important to me is getting a drink, though. Right, we'll just drink. Oh, finally, there we go. All right. Now that we're back, uh, I have a minute to kind of talk about uh, what's going on now that I'm not dehydrating to death. Uh, I have so many books. I have so many books. Burn that. Check this place. All right, so today, um, it's just me for right now. Uh, my friend Owen will be joining us soon. Uh, he has... Some things he was taking care of on his side, but for now it's going to be just me for a little bit. Um, as I frantically search this place that we just arrived at. So, uh, <laughs> funny thing happened uh, between last week and this week when it comes to Long Dark. Uh, they released a new update. Uh, Owen and I were kind of talking about it last time. But they released the Hesitant Prospectors uh, update, which is super cool. And it's super cool because uh, there's a completely new region that we can go to. And that is probably what we're going to do today. Uh, oh, that's right. I have wolf quarters. That's why I'm heavy. Um, that explains why I'm so goddamn heavy. Just the one wolf quarter, though. Did I only take one? I think I might have only grabbed one. I was like, that'll do. Um, so yeah, we plan on we plan on getting over there at some point. Uh, it'll probably be my goal as soon as I'm just like fixed up and ready to go. Um, I have tried I've tried out Ash Canyon a little bit, and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I have a goal for when we get there, but I will wait until. Uh, Owen has joined us for me to uh, d divulge my goal. Um, but yeah, for now, some casual long dark while I consume some water. And drink some Gatorade in real life and cook some wolf in game. Uh, yeah, we'll cook that. That popular stove is almost out, but that's fine. I think I've got some cold put on that. Um, can I repair anything in like an hour? 
Work boots. They're heavier. They're a lot heavier, too. I don't know if I want that. It's a lot heavier. Uh, I can repair this in 30 minutes. We're going to get that a go. Um, okay, well, we failed, so great. Nah, I could probably do it again. But uh, there's a bunch of new things in Hesitant Prospector as well, so we should be on the lookout for those. Um, I don't know how easily we'll find them. Uh, I don't know, because this is an older, quote-unquote, older world, if only by a week. Um, how easily we will find the newer things. I found some new things uh, in my, my personal game, but I, I am unsure. This will be completely new. So I might I might take a little time walking around Desolation Point. Just getting my bearings, getting a few things while we're here. Um I think I talked about this with Owen. Yeah, I have a I have a hunting rifle and I have a revolver, which is really good. I'd like a longbow. That's alright. Adventure, yes, we're going to be adventuring today. And there's some place new. It's definitely going to be a kind of a long haul. Um, a good portion of the stream is probably just going to be me getting to Ash Canyon. But once we're there, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, as that place is very interesting. Uh, and Hinterland Games does a great job, again, of sort of making um, geographical locations. Like, this game is... the People at Hinterland Games know how to make really interesting and fun environments to explore uh, and that is not that holds up in ash canyon ash canyon is a very cool place to kind of just wander around um of which we will see now do i have no i just have these book table pop belly stuff there we go let's start another fire uh i'm gonna Use a book to do so. Well, I build up my fire starting ability. Hi, kitty. She's like, hello, father. Another stream today on, is more streams. I stream every day this week, except for Sunday. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I never really stream on Sunday. I've talked about it sometimes, but I never end up doing it. Uh, because that, that Sundays are pretty... It's good to have breaks, and Sunday is a break day for me. Alright, let's warm up this. Um, let me evaluate. Oh, the holy day, yes. It is the day of rest. It is the day of taking in, not doing anything. Alright, so why am I so heavy? What's got, it's probably all these books I've got on me. I do have a lot of books. Um... Is there any of which I could burn? Yeah, I could burn small arms, and I could build wood in his kitchen. I could also burn some survival outdoors, so I gotta remember that for next time. Um, let's make some tinder plugs. What happens when you're looking for weed on dating apps? Alright. And do I have any? I can make bandages. Don't need to do that. Don't need to make improved hat. Um, guess it's fine. How's my, how much weight do I have in my first aid? A bit, but I, this is probably still fine. Uh, I want to break down these boots eventually. First, let's cook up this meat. Uh, and now we'll break down the boots. harvesting them. Now, can I repair these cargo pants at all? I'd like them to be a bit hardier. They're my main source of... Okay. My main source of hardiness. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to take a book with me just in case. I'm still pretty heavy. Which we're going to want to get fixed up. We're going to want to try to limit all the stuff we have on us and reducing it. The warmth bonus is really nice right now, but 
If we could reduce some of our heaviness, uh, let's switch it out with some some lighter but still pretty warm clothing, that'd be great. Uh, as Ash Canyon has a lot of shit. And a lot of climbing and all that, especially because we're going to have to go through Timberwolf Mountain to get there. And Timberwolf Mountain is a lot of climbing. Uh, hell, getting to Timberwolf Mountain requires that you climb to it. So, it's going to be a busy one. I killed that wolf. Yeah, right here. Here are the other quarters. Uh, I'm not going to take them because they're heavy. And I don't need that kind of additional weight. Do I have any water? Nope. All right. Should have made some water before we left, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go out to the wrecked uh, ship. And I'm going to check out the whale bone yard area. Uh, see if there's anything good loot over there. And then when we come back, uh, we're probably going to leave Desolation Point and make our way back, back through Coastal Highway and up towards Pleasant Valley. Which... Well, I assure you, will be nothing but unpleasant for me. Because I hate Pleasant Valley. But, it's a place we need to go through. It is the opposite of aptly named. It sounds so nice. It's not nice. Pleasant Valley sucks. <laughs> Pleasant Valley sucks because it's super wide open. Um, and not in the good way that the coastal highway is. Pleasant Valley is just like, you want to walk a very long time and find no food except for more wolves. And like, no wood. And no good shelter and no protection from any blizzard, and you don't know where the fuck you are because half of the map looks exactly the same no matter where you are. That's Pleasant Valley. It's not It's not a fun time. Desolation Point is pretty cool. I haven't spent a lot of time here. I've spent a good amount, but not... Not a supreme amount of time here. I see some feathers which tells me there's a dead body up there. A dead body. Alright. Here we are in the Rickon. There should be some things in here. If there's a heavy hammer in here, I can technically uh able to um It's good, but technically so is this scarf. They're about the equal. I think the took is just slightly better. Yeah, I think I think the took is better. Um, I'm just gonna need to repair it. It's fine. Hello, rifle cartridge. We'll take that. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of coal in here because this place has a a, a furnace. And hearth. As I recall, we don't really need uh, cotton because we have a lot of cloth. I'll take that sewing kit though. That'll be useful. Uh, let's drink you up. Drink you up. Perfect. Max hydration. I wish I had a lantern. That'd be nice. As it is, uh, dark and uh, not of the long variety. the short dark. Simple tools. Do I want those? Do I already have simple tools? I already have simple tools. I don't need more. I kind of have to readjust myself to what I do and don't have. A jerry can. It'll be useful. It's just really heavy. That's the thing. And I already have a good amount of oil. I have a good amount of gas on me. 
I don't see what we need now. Not as much as I need other things. I got painkillers. Went out the fun way. An energy bar, we'll take that. Uh, the frozen angler, we'll take it. Sword socks, anything up here. I'm looking for something in particular, but I don't know how likely I am to find it. Uh, summit soda, newspaper. Alright, let's go out here. Okay. Uh, I see a bullet. We're gonna grab that boy. Give me bullet. Still no heavy hammer, so I definitely will not be able to work any iron. I suppose that's fine. I do have, um, essentially two arrows, as I have one arrow, and then I have a, uh, an arrowhead. Which is enough. That, that'll do. For a while. I just need to make a bow, which is a little bit more difficult. Alright, let's head over to the whale, the whaling yard. I'm just gonna walk right off of this. Let's go. Just wanna check something real quick. Hold on, y'all. Alright, back to it. All right. How many bullets do I have? Let's uh, just reload this gun real quick. Luckily, we have a lot of revolver ammo, which is nice. The more wolves we come across, the better I'm going to be feeling. Run! I hate being this heavy. It's so limiting. It really is the fact that I'm carrying like six books. You really gotta burn some of them. There's some reclaimed wood, I don't care about that. Climb up in here. There can be a bear around here, which sucks. But we're gonna try to avoid him. Bears are the big scary. And basically spell out your death in this game the points. We got some shoes, we got some lantern fuel. Granola bar, some pork and beans. Anything in here? Hope nobody needs this anymore. One bad shirt. Uh. Hmm. Together, they do keep me very warm. But honestly, this underneath is just fine. I could just replace that and then just wear this plaid shirt. Even though the plaid shirt's not a lot. Just reduces some weight. Um, it's kind of the ultimate toss-up you have to kind of do in the long dark of, like, do you want to be warmer, or do you want to be faster? And not sluggish. Because you can be warm as fuck and just be moving hella slow. Typically, I don't find that's too too much of an issue, though. Because... Like, I don't know. Being cold, that issue only lasts, like, right off of the beginning. After that, it's not too much of an issue. Because it's really easy to just kind of bounce between places and make fires, if need be. Wood is very plentiful. So I might end up start just scratching around some of my some of my heavier clothes and putting in stuff that I think is just better. That's pretty good. A 
Ragged wool shirt. Actually, that's probably good. Uh, the wool shirt. Because wool is, in general, just warmer. It is a nice thing to, to have at max. Alright, so new wool shirt. How does that how does that match up? Gives one. It's like 75. Oh yeah, actually that's just better. Uh, so we'll switch out that wool shirt and we'll just switch that out. So I'm still pretty warm, uh, but now I'm just a bit lighter. And I can tear up these other things. Plus this wool sweater. Is the wool sweater better? Yeah, uh, it's a little bit better. It's just heavier. I think I'm fine. I think I can I can harvest this. I'm probably gonna have to spend some time in here just harvesting stuff. Which is annoying, but we'll do it. We'll take it. A new peanut butter, we will take that. I don't need that. I have plenty of cloth. I have debatably too much cloth. Alright, what's in here? Hello? Hello? What's this? What's this? It's a hoodie. That's useless. A sewing primer? Ugh, I, I have so many of them, but they're very useful. Getting the research books, like, actually research, will give you such a head start on a lot of skills that normally start off as pretty bad. So, like, it's kind of worth it. Revolver cartridge. Brick. Hey, a heavy hammer! Oh, shit. And a hacksaw. Ooh, the hacksaw. Use this. I will definitely want the heavy hammer. If I wanted to make some arrowheads is good. I don't know how many of them I really need at this point. Maybe, like, I could make one more, but I'm still going to be very heavy when I leave here. I can't run as it is right now, which is an issue. You always want to be able to run. All right, so let's, let's tear apart some things. Do some repair work. Uh, I'm going to pair up these pants. I said we can repair up these pants. I fucking said! Alright, hold on. Hold on. We can do a sewing primer real quick. Have I started reading any of these? Nope. Nope. Let's start reading them. Oh, especially because I hear a blizzard starting, so we're definitely not going to be able to get out of here anytime soon. Nope, and it seems like that blizzard passed, so maybe we could, but for now, let's just stay put. If I can get that one mending up, that'll help out a lot. It reduces time, and it re makes it more likely to succeed, which is nice. There we go. And can I read this next one? I can. <laughs> Give it to me. Is it not actually? It's not actually maxed. Uh, yeah, you tell me, sister. All right, let's make a book fire. A book fire. Oh look, Icewind Dale. Yeah, yeah, it's the same game. Oh, same hat? <laughs> yeah, we're in it. It looks just like Icewind Dale. I'm hunting around a fire. Uh, let's make some water. Let's get some water going, because I'm going to need that. How's it going today, Ethan? When does the Yeti come out? <laughs> uh, soon. <laughs> It'll it'll be encroaching upon me at any point any point now. Uh, I'm gonna repair one of these because that doesn't take too long. Perfect. And now I can drink it. There we go. Refreshed, rehydrated. Keep making water. In fact, let's make two water. 
Uh, do I have any food to eat? Oh, yeah, I got plenty. I'm gonna eat this energy bar. Eat that energy bar real quick and uh, get to reading, I think. Been good. A little bit of college work, plus I've been watching some streams to Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I realize uh, that I am <laughs> I am not in the, the greatest demographic right now uh, because that game came out like today slash yesterday. Um, but, you know. I'll rest soon. I'm gonna how is it? How is the game? Does it look amazing? Does it look great? I have not. I literally... I think I was actually sleeping under a rock when all of hype of that game came out, because, like, I have never once been a big, like, yeah, Cyberpunk looks great. I was just like, oh, it's a game. And I just, I never, never even realized the hype. Um, I'm gonna read for an hour. Wow, mend mending takes so goddamn long to improve. Yeah, we're gonna research this because firearms is gonna be super useful. <coughs> oh, oh, the power's back on. Looks like yeah, the aurora must be starting. God, this place is fucking creepy. It looks fantastic. Gameplay itself isn't all too revolutionary, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I think I like kind of saw like I when I was uh, signing into Twitch today. I think I saw that the front page has someone playing it, and I looked at it. I was like, "Wow, it looks like a game." <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I'm not too much one to judge on it. Uh, I just landed in Great Bear Island, deep, a uh, wild, flew me out from the mainland by float plane. It should be quite the trip. Remember, I'll be out of reach for the next two weeks. If it's all they promise, I'll be the new man when I get back. Wow, all right. Uh, I think Owen will be on here at, at some point, uh, in a bit. And he can probably talk a little bit about it, because I know he's been playing it. Um... Uh, he's been playing a bit of that, that good old cyberpunk man. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna eat peanut butter. We're gonna eat some fucking peanut butter and we're gonna go to bed. I don't know, it, I, I know it's very, it's, the cyberpunk aesthetic is very similar to that of, like, um, Deus Ex. Looks like a fun game, I'll probably never play it, not my style. Yeah, I think I'm in the same boat. It's... It's not really a game I would probably play. I like I played Deus Ex, which was fun, but Deus Ex is very also like Bioshock. Um, and I don't know. I'll definitely probably watch someone play it at some point just to kind of get a a taste and be like, what is this game? But I will probably never play it myself either. But I'm sure Owen will be here at some point. But it's got Keanu. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It does got Keanu. And I'm sure it's breathtaking. Just like he is. But. Uh, let's just research for four hours. Let's do research for four hours. It's just like my real life. No, you. <laughs> Stop. Now my revolver is better. Good. What does it what does it mean for my revolver skill to be better? Uh, recoil compensation increased by twenty five percent, and I can repair better. So less recoil. Keanu's character is interesting. I have not seen much of the story, but it doesn't seem too shabby. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to watch some YouTuber play it. Cause I, I probably couldn't jump into a stream. I think I would be like far too confused. I already had a hacksaw. Okay, good to know. Um, I feel like I'd be a little overwhelmed by everything. Just be like, why are these? Why is this the thing? Ugh. How's my fire making skill going? I'm at two. Okay, actually, that's, that's not bad. Uh, well, 
let me explore this warehouse a little bit just to see if I can find crampons. If I cannot, uh, we're just going to go gather up our stuff over at the lighthouse, and I'm going to make my way out of this area back to Coastal Highway and then through Pleasant Valley to Timberwolf Mountain. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll reach Ash Canyon and I will I will start the actual purpose of this stream. This will come in handy. Uh, line, work gloves. I don't really need work gloves. Don't need cure lever, don't need scrap metal. Excuse me, large bones. Did you shave? Your face looks really smooth. I, sm I shaved a few days ago, yeah. My smooth face. Yeah, uh... My girlfriend was over and she was just like, your mustache is hurting me when we kiss. And I was like, well... Fine. And I decided to shave. Also, I was looking kind of raggedy. So... Look a... Look a little less raggedy now. Well, this That's what Emma raggedy. sent to me. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Um, <laughs> I have found that uh, if, unless someone uh, is directly affected by the mustache, I will not shave it. But it was it was getting a little a little too much. She dared uh, my girlfriend dared me to shave all of it off, and I was like, absolutely not. I am not going full baby face. I I will do partial, and my 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 beard is trimmed. But I, I'm not going full baby phase. That's too much for me. Alright. Go, go full baby face and be an e boy. <laughs> no. No. I have enough people be telling me I could be an e boy, and I'm like, I don't really <laughs> know how to feel about that that answer. It ain't for me. Now that I have a beard going, I really don't want to ever go to Babyface again. I understand the sentiment. Yeah, Babyface, like... It's fine until you can actually grow a full beard, and then you're like, why would I ever want to go back? I feel so manly. And not in, like, a toxic way, where it's just like, I'm a man. Real men have beards. No, no. You could not have a beard, and that's fine. But there's something about owning a beard that feels really nice. Specifically in the winter, because your face doesn't hurt. Enjoy. I'm starting to feel okay with my baby face. <laughs> That's fine. Baby face is fine. Oh, man. I will only probably ever go full baby face if, like, there is an event I'm going to and I don't have, like, the mustache down that I want. I will probably go baby face because it's just more socially acceptable at points. Nobody needs this anymore. Uh, but personally, I'm a beard man. It's less, than a, it's less of a manly thing. I feel older now with a beard. If I shaved, I feel like I would look like I'm 16 again. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I would actually understand when people started carding me, and they're like, Are you... Are you 18? I'm like, Madam, please. You cannot tell, because I no longer have a beard. I am 23 years old. Do not try to shorten my lifespan down to a, a third of what it w w is now. Down a third, rather. This truck had it rough, but it had a firearm cleaning kit in it, so that's great. All right, Owen is here. Hold on one second. I'm going to get him up on Discord and get him set up. Uh, let's see if we can make this work. You guys should be able to hear him now-ish. Owen? What's up? Hello. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Let me get your cool. let me get your shared screen up. I'm going to have to move Discord over to the other thing. Wine and cheese and poetry is already being requested, Owen. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't have, uh, so I have wine, homemade Asian food, and I can pull up some poetry. <laughs> okay. Perfect. The fucking, the fucking hoops I have to jump through in order for you to see 
the long dark <laughs> is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> hey man, it's worth it. You get me. Uh, that's true. Welcome. Uh, we have Ethan and Chad and Cheyenne in the chat right now. All right. Which one requested the poetry? Uh, Chadley. Uh, <laughs> Ethan has all caps said friend. <laughs> okay. This one goes out to Chad there. <laughs> This is Those Winter Sundays by Robert Hayden. Sundays, too, my father got up early and put his clothes on in the blue black cold. Then, with cracked hands that ached from labor in the weekday weather, made banked fires blaze. No one ever thanked him. I'd wake and hear the cold splintering, breaking. When the rooms were warm, he'd call, and slowly I would rise and dress, fearing the chronic angers of that house speaking indifferently to him, who had driven out the cold and polished my good shoes as well. What did I know? What did I know of love's austere and lonely offices? And that was Those Winter Sundays by Robert Hayden. That was uh, a much... <laughs> did I like... That was like a poem. <laughs> yeah, that was like a full-ass poem. So emotionally charged, says Chad. <laughs> That had a that had some weird, weird sequiturs I wasn't used to. All right, so Owen, we have a goal for today. Ash Canyon. Well, there's some. Yes, get to Ash Canyon, but there's another goal along with getting to Ash Canyon. Okay. So I don't know how much you know about Ash Canyon itself. Not a lot. Uh, but there are uh some unique locations in Ash Canyon. Uh huh. As there are in nearly every uh, area. Um, getting this wine going. And would you like to know what Ash Canyon has for one of the unique areas? What is it? A gold mine. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gold. So I spent last night, uh, <laughs> last night after we were finished up D&D, &D and I was like, I, I, I do know how to get to Ash Canyon now from Timberwolf Mountain. Uh -huh. uh, and I spent time, so much time. Cheyenne can vouch with how much fucking time I wasted trying to find the gold mine. <laughs> and I don't know where it is, but I have a pretty good idea, maybe. Right. But our goal is to find the gold mine today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheyenne did say it was a lot of time. We, we should have gone to bed a long time before that. But I played a lot of cyberpunk yes actually we were arguably too much yeah we did we were actually talking about that uh ethan was talking about watching some cyberpunk uh streams how, how are you enjoying the game dude i'm enjoying it a lot i've done like three main quests and just spent hours on on hours doing side quests and i feel <laughs> like i haven't even made a dent in the first <coughs> zone yeah uh chad says i have seen the cyberpunk 2077 is poopy on ps4 well, I don't give a shit about consoles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know. I don't... I have no desire to get the game, and also... I have own, I own too many things on PS4 that I need to finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like... It's a last-gen console. Who cares? <laughs> it, it's a last-gen console of, like, a month ago. Who the fuck even gives a shit anymore? Yeah, it's outdated now. No <laughs> one cares. <laughs> uh, do I want these wolf... I'll take one this wolf quarter in with me. Texture and level detail takes 20 seconds to load. God, it's just unplayable. <laughs> the problem is that they advertised that, that would work well on the PS4. They did actually today. They did actually do that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't care about consoles. I'm playing on the computer. My computer's old as shit, and it works fine. That PC master race, yo. My computer actually is really fucking old. I should upgrade this thing. Uh, yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Oh, and I wonder I if my, I wonder if my computer is better than yours at this point. I, it probably is, Joseph. The whole time, this, remember when we started gaming together, Joey, in high school? Yeah. I've had the same computer the whole time. Yeah, that's that's been a it while. It was super duper good at the time, but it's slowly fallen out of a yeah out, out of, of vogue. Yeah, out of favor and such. Yeah. Still works, but yeah, you know. That is fair. We have 
have been playing together for nearly seven years. Yeah. God, if you, <coughs> God, just give it a few more years, Joseph. We can say we've been playing games together for a decade. I know. That'll be fun to say. I feel like I haven't even been alive a decade. Uh, yeah, well, in fact, Owen, you've been alive for over two. That's... Nah, I don't believe you. That can't be true. That's impossible. All right, I'm going to start a fire just for the sake of starting a fire. Fifteen more days until Ethan gets his new computer. Pyromaniac Joseph confirmed. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I and have Ethan, too many it'll books. be good for you to have your computer. Yeah, you can play uh, all of our high-end games, like Tabletop. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Terraria with us. We'll Which we still play just about anything. Yeah. We still gotta, we still gotta finish Terraria. Yeah, we just gotta kill Moon Lord. Yeah. That is and like it. that is like the lowest of things that we need to do, and because it's just like well, there's nothing after that. Yeah, I think that's the biggest reason I don't go back. It's like well, it's the one thing we've killed Moon Lord a million times on our own before. Like, hey, I just want the fucking mod loader to get updated. Like, yeah. Come on. How yeah. long is it gonna be? I agree. I think the I think the mod loader is upgraded. It's just not. Uh. Not for 1.2, it's not. Still not? No. That's crazy to me. Yeah, it's really weird. I figured it would be like a few weeks, you know? Yeah, and now it's Maybe months. a month. And yeah, now it's been months. Uh, yeah, I have, I have two fishing books to read, and I have this sewing book to finish. <clears throat> and I have all these other books to burn. So we kind of we had some company over, so we made like a whole ass meal, you know. Uh huh. And so we made some Asian food. Right. And Isaac White made some uh, noodles and a peanut butter sauce, you know, mm -hmm. like a peanut sauce. Right. And you know, you've had Asian things, you know, like peanut sauce is like kind of peanutty, but like pretty, you know, right. Pretty tame on the peanut category. Right. And it just tastes like I'm just eating peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> He went a little overboard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ethan's also hopeful that he will not lag on Terraria. Fingers crossed. Yeah. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. Good thing Andy's not here. If I breathed in his direction right now, I'd kill him. Yeah. Did you see his Snapchat story today? Uh, I kind of just clicked through the Snapchat stories. What was it? Uh, I didn't like listen to it. I'm more just pointing out the fucking beard and a half that he has. Oh, yeah. He's hot. <laughs> Well, I mean, yes, but... <laughs> I'm going to try to repair a bunch of my clothes today. Do not tell me that sun's going to fucking... Alright, it did not cuck me right at the end. Don't you fuck my wife, son. Wait, there's peanuts and peanut sauce? Believe it or not, Cheyenne, it, it is true. Oh, and I don't know. I if... always assumed it was hazelnuts. <laughs> I don't know if you also want to get the stream up so you can read chat alongside. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll pull it up so I can look at it. I'm, I'm not going to be staring at it the whole time. Right. I will. Oh damn! All right, where the fuck is this pot belly stove? It's way too dark. Hello? Oh, let me just pull out. Let me just pull out a match. Dude, it is like pitch black. <laughs> yeah. It's dark. There we go. All right. We'll light this up. I'll even use accelerant because I have way too much of it. And then I'll just yeet. <laughs> yeet. Be very safe with that and just toss it right near that mat. Uh, do I really? I don't have that much. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> because I watched uh, Team America. Mm -hmm. that, was a, that was an old movie at this point. No, it's not new. <laughs> I actually. That's a very old movie, but I do remember when it was new. Yeah. That's how old I am. That's how being alive works. Yeah. It's true. 
Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's cook up some water. Get that going. Let's I just cook up I some am, more water. I am now just realizing that pitch black refers to the blackness of pitch, like the tar-like substance. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not know that? Uh, Chadley said that. I knew that. I know. It's in the name, Chad. <laughs> It's a simple, it's brought to you by the same people that gave you the word fireplace. <laughs> I don't understand. It's Could you explain It's incredibly straightforward. <laughs> I'm confused. What does that even mean? Uh, melt that snow. And so then... why people also, if they want to add more words in an essay, instead of pitch black, they'll say black as pitch. <laughs> I just figured that pitch was used in a different context. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, people know what pitch is. Do they not? Uh, I mean, pitch isn't used that commonly anymore. Like, people know about it. Sure. I wouldn't say everyone does. Like, a new definite of pitch would be really, really... <laughs> <laughs> I pitch like you. All right, so I got a few more. I'm, I'm trying to, like, cut down on the amount of stuff that I own. Right. Because we're going to need to be underweight in order to even get into Timberwolf Mountain, let alone Ash Canyon. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't afford to be a hoarder in the apocalypse. Which is no. weird, because I always assumed that was the thing to do based on any time I played, like, a Fallout game. Yeah. Boy, does that, that cause trouble? Yeah. It's just like, I'll need these teddy bears. I, I'll need all of them. Oh, you never know. Chad says if it's any consolation, he feels incredibly dumb for not realizing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought uh, the first thing in my mind was like the pitch of a baseball. Yeah, black, like baseball pitch. Yeah. <laughs> like pitching a baseball. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually pitch black, like the movie Pitch Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of those classical writers just retroactively used that. <laughs> or actually, it's integratively used it. Alright, let's eat this meat. What do you mean, Joey? Baseball is the oldest sport in the world. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Is it? Mm -hmm. I, you, must, you must be right. I don't know anything about baseball. Talking baseball. Ah! <laughs> yeah? I opened the door and there was a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm also chewing on so much cartilage. Gross. God, it's, it's a lot. It snows outside. Guys, it's pitch white outside. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna take these birch saplings. They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess those guts. Uh, I'm not taking the guts. I don't want to be stinky. I think the battle royale is the oldest thing. <coughs> Let's kill all these people. Hmm. That's a way to put it. Uh, it's probably Age of Empires. Yeah. Mhm. Mm the oldest, the oldest game. Yeah, the oldest sport. Probably yeah. All right, Everyone I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. No. <laughs> Home. We're we have we have a new destination. We're we're gonna try to find a cozy little angler's hut in the middle of a burnt out forest. <laughs> so like, what what are all the like what are the kind of places that ask you? What's, uh, what's the deal? What's its deal? So the deal with Ash Canyon is one, it's a fucking canyon. Oh, um, yes. So it does have a lot of points that are just like. Uh, incredibly low and incredibly treacherous. Like you could fall down and just die because, like, they have a they have so many just like bridges, either man-made or natural ones. Mm -hmm. Um, and they they really emphasize very high up and very low down. So like right. d down with the the burnt out forest. Uh, gotta they're... gotta get up and get down with the sickness. Yeah, there is also some huge ropes. I <laughs> I cannot describe how many <laughs> ropes I've gone up and down um, in that and have been like that. If I have to go up this again, I will actually just die from exhaustion. 
Um, they're talking about how chess was actually based on Age of Empires. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a chat fact. Man, are you guys excited for chess too? Oh shit! Did they announce the the patches mm -hmm. for chess too? Yeah. Introducing Knight Squared and Pawn with a Gun. Getting <laughs> stalked by dire wolves. <laughs> yeah, I think Minecraft Whoa. is the oldest game. Alright! <laughs> Speaking of... Get the, the fuck off me! I wish you could tame a wolf. Like, there's one. <laughs> that you can just give food, and it's like... Uh... Uh, That'd be good. Antiseptic for the infection. And a bandage for the sprain. And. Antiseptic. Yeah. You mean it, antibiotic? <laughs> no. It's an antiseptic to make sure that it doesn't go septic. Antibiotic. Sure those are made up words. N no. <laughs> <laughs> Antibiotics are usually used when you have bacterial infections. Yeah. Isn't it just like, I just think it's one of the funniest things in the world when mm. you say something and someone like, um, actually is you and is so absolutely wrong. Yeah, you're like, nope. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I do that sometimes just because I'm a fucking dumbass. It's like, um, actually. You're like, huh, no. Uh, what's faster? I think that brings me through the mountain to the other side, so I want to go up here. Oh my gosh. He gave you a real chomp. Let's hope you don't get rabies. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was a love bite, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I hit two, and I did not immediately pull out the pistol, so I was like, alright, well, I guess I'm just dead. Yeah, I'll be fine. I had all, everything to deal with it. I want to make get some new bandages soon, so I might have to tear up some clothes that I find. <coughs> um, actually, the moon is an inside job. <laughs> you guys still believe in the moon? <laughs> wow, wake up, people. <laughs> uh, maybe what I should do is I should get rid of some of my... Uh, my medicines and just switch the, uh, to the herbal stuff because it's lighter. Like, antiseptic in this game is fucking heavy. Alright. How, he how heavy is it? It's like 0.7 pounds. So 0.7 wow. kilo. I drop kilo a what? Kilowatts? Yeah. Wake up, sheeple. Also, the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. There's only one true shepherd. <laughs> You're following the wrong shepherd. Uh. <laughs> what if... <laughs> what? <laughs> what if Christians... <laughs> Just doubled down into calling. It started calling themselves sheeple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Lord is our shepherd, and we are His sheeple. <laughs> <laughs> here is His home, and here is the steeple. All right, back to. I'm gonna pick these rosettes. I would be a little upset if Christians did that. <laughs> what, what if? But what if Chris Chan did it? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Chad said, uh, as Moses once said, "Let my sheeple go, lest I part these thighs." <laughs> Whose thighs are you talking about? His own Pharaoh's? Yeah, yeah, yes. Let, let my sheeple go, Pharaoh's gonna catch. Gonna catch the dick. I would love it. I just, I want, I want someone to do like a rewrite of the Bible. Yeah, I think right. they did that. 
Well, no, keep to the core, <laughs> like, the core things, but just modernize the words. Like, yeah. instead of being like, let my people go, lest I bring down the wrath of God, or whatever it says. Like, let my people go, or you're gonna catch these hands. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they catch these hands real quick. Yo, let my peeps at her, we're gonna fucking throw hands. I want that rewrite. <laughs> let my, let them go, or catch me outside, how about that? That'd be something. Alright, go this way. I've at least reduced my, uh, some of my movement problems I was having before. Uh, okay. Now you're ready to cook with it. Can we tumberfy the Bible? <laughs> Can what we make that? the Bible, but it's just green text from 4chan? Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know what he means Tumblrfy, I have never been on Tumblr. Uh, it's very similar to what you were just describing. Okay, but I want like a thug Wii, right? Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Be me. <laughs> Be servant of God. God tells me to throw sun off cliff. <laughs> That wasn't what God told him to do. God told him to stab the shit out of his son. No, oh, you're right. So he brought him on top of a cliff to stab him. Yeah, he brought him on top of the mountain. Yeah. I prefer we didn't... prefer we didn't green text the Bible, pick not related. <laughs> <laughs> well, I prefer that's some revolver cartridges here last time we were here. Uh, actually, I'm going to take that baseball hat. Wow. Ah! That scared me. Alright. Half expecting to get jumped by two wolves here again. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. hello. How are you doing? You've checked out my channel. You want to make me a custom overlay? That sounds very true. I, Joey, I send them your credit card info. That you know, that might be a good idea. Chadley, take care of this, please. <laughs> Joey, how is it that I'm a guest star on your screen before I'm a mod? Uh, be <laughs> okay. It's a little valid that you're somehow a guest star before you're a mod, but also, uh, my mods are typically people who show up to my streams a lot. Well, <coughs> I've been to a lot of your Stardew ones. Yeah. And some of your Persona ones. Yeah. I mean... And I've been to, I've been to a Pokemon one. There was a lot of grinding. Yeah. Well, it was Pokemon. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, Ethan was the original mod because Ethan actually did show up to every single stream I ever did for a while until, like, school started back up. Yeah, but is he giving you money? Are you giving me money? <laughs> no, but I'm a guest star. I'm earning you revenue by being here. Uh, I don't have affiliate yet, Owen. I'm not gaining money. <laughs> <laughs> I got that star power that you need, Joseph. <laughs> I want money. Yeah, then Chadley and Andrew were also, like, there a lot. So I was like, yeah, it makes sense. And, you know... Thus, I have my three mods. I mean, Owen, do you really want to be a mod? I like power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It means you have to watch chat a lot. Make sure they're being good little beans. Question about a game I've never played. Why are you using a flare in broad daylight? Because uh, I I walked through a cave to use the flare as light, and now I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm using every little bit of this flare. Yeah. It also scares away wolves. Yes, which we've had problems with in this area. Now that it's almost out, though. I can eat that bitch. Hi, Neil. Welcome. What's up, uh, Neil? Forest fire. Nah, nah, it's winter. <laughs> uh, oh, I just saw crows flying. It's... It, I, there might be a blizzard coming up. Smokey will find you. Smokey's gonna have to catch me first. 
Smoke a bear says bring the get gasoline in the woods. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I feel like I remember this bit from somewhere. Was this one of our we, bits or something? Yeah, else? this was one of our bits. We did this years ago. Yeah. I seem to remember it cracked you guys up. <laughs> Smoke a bay. <laughs> yes. Smoke God, that's an old says. bit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this was a long time ago. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Smoke a bay says only pussies put out their fires when they leave. <laughs> you are pussy kids. <laughs> God, what the fuck were we playing that Smoker Bear came up? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh. Like I said, I, we were in high school at the time. That, I, I forgot about that bit. Mm -hmm. That's an old one. I did too, until like yesterday or the day before when someone brought up Smokey. <laughs> and you're like, smoke a bear. Yeah, it just came back to me. Whack. I I actually I remembered it as soon as you did the voice and like the name I was like oh smoker bear and I couldn't mm -hmm. remember like is that a reference to something else or is that something we did I believe it's something we did yeah that's that's how I remember it god but... we were funny I'm still funny <laughs> well anyway I gotta get it through coastal valley yeah. <laughs> Ah. I'm upset that we went all the way to the Salation Point just for Ash Canyon <laughs> to be connected to Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, to, to turn around. <laughs> yeah. But, alas. Away we go. At least we have a revolver with, like, 64 bullets. No, uh, 60... 62 bullets. <coughs> That's a lot of bullets. Yeah. That's a lot of almost trying to shoot a wolf and then missing. <laughs> That's a lot of just spinning in a circle, firing your gun and hoping. <laughs> That's a lot of, I, shot, I fired again, and I missed. Yeah, I missed. I missed both times. <laughs> It'll be a shame when 63 wolves attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's a, that's a big wolf pack. <laughs> that is a huge pack. <laughs> They're mega wolves. That's like... What if what if wolves got into polyamory? That's what that's how many that big of that wolf pack is. Aren't most wolf packs like like five to six? I couldn't tell you. I would I would assume six to ten, but I don't know. Hmm. It probably varies, but probably large, but not too large. This is also assuming ever one shot is one kill. Yes. Well, I've got the I've got the fastest hand in the east. But we're very much in the west, so, like, there's a lot of people between me and there. I've got the fastest hand in the west. Unfortunately, it's my left hand, and I'm right-handed. <laughs> oh, really the north. Yeah, there, there are people who can shoot faster than me up here. I wouldn't make that claim. Including the wolves. Yeah. <laughs> and they God, just... their paws are fast. <laughs> they just happen to have so many bullets. <laughs> Wolf pack varies depending on environmental resources available. Ah, good. We have Ethan here. <laughs> but they're not dinosaurs, so how can I trust his knowledge? Ah, shit. You bring up a good point. Sorry, Ethan, you're the dinosaur man, not the wolf man. <laughs> he was talking about, um... <coughs> what the fuck was I playing? <coughs> we were talking about, like, bone structure and how birds might have, like, longer lifestyles based off it. Oh. Or, well, shorter lifestyles, rather. And, and Ethan was fucking big-braining it. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Like... Birds, birds got cool bones. Yeah. But then he was like, maybe it's metabolism. Ranging anywhere from 5 to 12. Getting more than 12 can really can happen, but it's rare, if I do recall. Birds have shorter lifestyles than when you were playing Zelda. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, birth. Birth of the wild. Birth of the wild. I know. Now I'm playing so many Zeldas. I'm playing like, uh, like a whopping two. Whoa. Yeah. Someone slow me down. That like that's all of the Zeldas. Yeah, they have one and, and two. A wand of Gamelon and. Yeah, the faces of evil. Yeah, the two Zeldas. I like how at you least the good them. ones. <laughs> yeah, it's because I've got like a pot and pan on me. It was just like, oh, there's a fucking wolf. 
Oh, that's another fucking wolf. I guess I'm not going to the gas station. Or I could just fire off a bullet. Gun. Yeah, honestly. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm actually not very accurate with the rifle. It's better if I use this. Second gun. What if I just pull out second gun? Uh, actually... That's a moose. Oh, you can't kill it, Joseph. The Majesty. Uh, I actually just still can't kill it. That thing will fucking kill me before I get the chance. Oh, moose are like top five best animals of all time. Oh, yeah. You love moose? Uh, I'm terrified of moose. I love moose. Love, love, love. <laughs> Did you see? It did like the Looney Tunes thing. Yeah, I was like, like it was running at you, but it stopped getting its tracks with its legs kept on. <laughs> yeah, I also scared off the moose. <laughs> like that wolf made like a car like. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> Don't you chase me! Get the fuck out of here, wolf. Yeah, that moose will fuck me up. If I get close to it, he'll break my goddamn ribs. not fun. You know, one thing that uh, I understand why they uh, don't do it in this game, but I, I don't care for? What? Uh, how when you're wearing clothes, it, it counts as carry weight. Yeah. But it's equally distributed across your body, so it doesn't actually feel that heavy. Well, I mean, you're carrying it. Yeah, but at the, like, <laughs> that doesn't, it's, it's equally distributed across your body. But, like, if I'm wearing my shirt on my torso or my shirt in my backpack, it's the same weight. But you, but I'm it gonna feels feel it the same. No, you don't actually. Yeah, I do. No. You don't know how I feel things. I, I know about how carrying stuff works. That's why like 30 pounds on a dumbbell feels 30 heavier than 30 pounds on a barbell because it's equally, more equally distributed. So also, I have another sewing primer. This reminds me of a, a lot of pathological when I had like three guns at the end, two men would <laughs> knives would still fuck you up. Yeah, no. <laughs> the guns really are more deterrents than anything until you get good with them and then they could be used for hunting. I'm just gonna stock up on food. I feel like I've heard that argument at like an NRA meeting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's a deterrent, and then you can, like, hunt with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, w what? This stuff We're talking about... Joey is technically correct in this regard. Wearing clothes is easier than carrying clothes, but if they are thick and warm, they can wear someone down in, in a low-energy service situation. Hey, yeah, you're that's... absolutely right. These clothes are thick. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. In some cases, it's just, like, a dress shirt, and it still weighs, like, 0.25 pounds. Yeah, well... Kilograms, and I'm like, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> but I so suppose in the context of it, it is a low energy situation because you're not always. <laughs> and they do kind of balance that out by giving you better carry weight if you're well fed. So, which is I... how I worked in real life. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Uh, I could break that down. But instead, I think I'm going to take the sewing kit and we're going to leave out the front door because I don't want to come face to face with that moose. That moose scare me. But they're so beautiful. It's Is this like Neo Scavenger where if you don't get shoes in 10 minutes, you lose? Yeah, uh, kind of. It's similar. Uh... This game, depending Dude, on where you... Neo Scavenger, what a game. Yeah, I wish they ever decided they wanted to keep doing it. <laughs> Instead of releasing, like, one last update and then be like, yeah, we're done. Well, they finished it. No. <laughs> no, they, they didn't. <laughs> they, they released, like, a 0. 0.5... Uh, 0. 0.55... 0. 0.055 <gasps> update, and then they were like, no... 
And there was never another one. I stopped playing once my water trading business took off. What's up, wolf? Alright, fine. Fuck you. That was the most successful shot I've ever had. <laughs> wow, that was effective. I think I just scared that moose, too. I would... I would actually, like, harvest him, but, like, I need... I, I don't have the space. Wow, I can't believe you just killed that wolf for nothing. No. I'm a poacher, what can I say? Well, that's not what poacher means. What does poacher mean? Someone who illegally hunts. But... What would Smoker Bear say? <laughs> Smoker Bear says, kill them all. <laughs> I'm just listening to Smoker Bear. <laughs> God, you know what? I think Smoker Bear was like a Left 4 Dead joke. Yeah, it was in that era. Yeah, it feels like... I had some of my best bits in Left 4 Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Left 4 Dead was a time. That was like peak me. <laughs> that was the peak comedy. It's, it was the golden was age. Because I was funny the whole time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because I was just always doing the voice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll st we still need to beat the Left 4 Dead uh, map together? Yeah, at some point. We do, yeah. yeah. That's something we could do on a stream. You missed... Uh, Ethan's lamenting that he missed out on Smoker Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Smoker Bear no, will like always return. <laughs> I, I think my my most clear Left 4 Dead memory. I don't remember a lot of specific moments, but I got a few. And uh, the one that's most clear in my head was is when we were it was we were it was the witch. Yeah, when yeah. we were in the office building. <laughs> yeah. Just like Neil walks in, oh witch turns around, walks out. I walk in, oh witch, <laughs> and I'm and I like turn around and walk out, and then you walk in and just. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. I, then we're just running in circles around the fucking I, office. I think. And I and, and like I, we do two loops, and I run into like a supply closet. I inside. I, I remember it slightly differently because I I remember yeah Neil being like oh witch and just calmly turning around was absolutely true. I remember you going oh witch and turning around. Pro I probably didn't even. I probably just went. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's probably accurate. You probably did just go oh. And then fucking turn around. And then turn around and leave. I and did 100% scream. Yeah. <laughs> and then we did like two laps around all the cubicles. <laughs> and I ran into a supply closet and just crouched in a corner. And I watched your outlines run around. <laughs> and then you came in and I was just like, you're not a witch. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, my motherfucker, you were hiding in here. <laughs> One of us had to live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. that is my... <coughs> from that game. Yeah. I really don't remember much uh, uh, from Left 4 Dead outside of that. That really was the penultimate of, like... Yeah, well, I remember one time we were standing... Uh, like, we were on top of a car, and I I was like, no, I'm saving my grand. And you were like, the pumpernickel, like, it's the Koreans or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just threw it. I remember that. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have a lot of specific memories. <laughs> Lord Pumpernickel, it's the Koreans. <laughs> Yeats. <laughs> God, that is so true. God, I'm so fucking heavy as shit. I gotta go around and I hate that. That's a bear, motherfucker. <laughs> Smoke a bear says, get the fuck out of my territory. <laughs> Smoke a bear is coming to kill you now. <laughs> I saw you shoot that wolf. I'm gonna shoot you with these hands. That wolf was my dealer. <laughs> Smoke a bear needs a fix. How Smoke a bear gonna get his quaaludes now? <laughs> it's all about the ludes, ludes. <laughs> God, high school was funny. <coughs> we were just so much happier back then. No, I think we just had more time. I was happier back then. Well, actually, mm, mixed happiness back then. I definitely was happier in moments than I am generally now, but I was definitely big sad at a lot of times. But it's fine. I'm just kind of maintained. Oh, well, yeah. You have finished oh, all your fine. classes today. Well done, Neil. What was your boring class you were in earlier, Neil? <coughs> 
I feel like my com comedy value was not as high in high school. Uh, I started a peak in college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joey agrees. You were less funny before. <laughs> no, he's just really funny now. Like, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan has, like, nailed comedy timing now. <laughs> and some of Ethan's recurring jokes that he even makes about himself are also hilarious. <laughs> Silencing the past. You mean, like, book burning or de holocaust denying? Is that what that class is about? Is this the way to go? This might be the way to go. Fuck, hold on. Uh, let me... Let me survey. That'll help. Parts of it. I feel like I've asked that question every single time I've, you've brought up that <laughs> class. <laughs> so, Neil, you're against silencing the past. Are you, are you setting him up for something here? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, like a high school, <laughs> Ethan wouldn't have made that joke. Yes. So you're telling me you want to put up more Confederate statues, Neil? <laughs> <laughs> to honor your past? Oh my god. Oh shit. He just says yes again. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yes. And I'm tired of acting like I don't. <laughs> I want to look at Robert E. Lee. We actually talked about it. Wow. Huh. <laughs> and what did you say? Like, how, my, how much funds did you raise for Confederate statues? <laughs> God damn, I hate... <laughs> I hate Coastal Highway when I'm trying to find Pleasant Valley. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not on the right, I'm not on the right elevation at all. All right. What the fuck was I? I was talking about something. Like I really did forget. So the fact that uh, Charles Lee is Robert Lee's father, I believe. Uh, no, but that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, Charles Lee fought in the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Talk with shit about Washington. Jorge Washington. Yeah. I think that was Robert E. Lee's dad. <clears throat> no, makes sense. He ain't adding to history. Oh, I keep thinking I have a bow, but I do not. Uh, do I want to sleep? Let's try to get some sleep. Charles Lee was also a traitor. Like father, like son. <laughs> I want to honor my father's legacy by leaving America. Uh, you know my favorite argument for Confederate flags is? Like, people who have them. I'm sure what? I like when people are like, oh, you know, I'm just honoring my ancestors, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And I love it because, A, that flag was, like, not used. Yeah, yeah at the time yeah and b dude you live in maine nah <laughs> your ancestors definitely were in the union mm -hmm. yeah your ancestors could have been part of those who fought like with the fish boat right <laughs> like christ yeah it's always really you're funny. not from the south <laughs> yeah i i, <laughs> I don't get i'm Ancestors who killed a bunch of Confederates, probably. <laughs> and I'm honoring them. <laughs> By glorifying the Confederates. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Mackinac jacket's really busted up. Time to repair it. Perfect. Now it's decent. Now I can tear up this fucking baseball hat. Talking baseball. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty cat. Alright. Is there any, like, loose weight that I can just kind of, like, dump? I mean, you can always trim a little bit of tummy fat. Okay. We didn't need to bring this up on stream. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just feeling outed. <laughs> <laughs> just go in. Just go Call your local plastic surgeon. Go in for a tummy tuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, trim that fat right off. 
suck it right out of you. Like it's the sound design in this game is great. Yeah, it's it's it, Neil. You would actually probably love this game. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's really good. It's there's it's a labor of love. There is so the much. Sound design is so good. Yeah, I was actually talking about that uh, last night. I was explaining to Cheyenne while I was playing, but I'm like, I can tell, like, so much of this game is in pay also paying attention to like everything. Like, I can I can look up and see guy birds flying away, and I know that that means that like a blizzard's coming. Um, There's a reason why whenever I get like whenever we get like a heavy snow, I'm like, Ooh, long dark. Yeah, and like being inside a house and you hear wind blowing it lets you know that there's probably either it's either heavy wind outside or likely a um a blizzard but you'll hear a blizzard more if like the house starts getting like the sh the rafter shaking kind of sound like like it's uh, the sound design is amazing just the wind like just the the sound of the wind in yeah it, like that the howling of the wind is incredible yeah Neil says I want to play a good tabletop survival RPG with y'all. Yeah. It, listen, if they're like the long dark. I think I uh is like the perfect sort of I might like, have a I might have a PDF for like a survival RPG very much in this vein, a tabletop one. Ooh. Let me look. Right, I'm gonna get rid DM of, skilled. I'm gonna get rid of some of these fucking survival primers I have. Like I, I think I have one that like literally I saw and I was like and like, I was like, ooh, like the long dark, but tabletop. <laughs> let, me, let me pull up grab the RPG. I really do like, I, I do fucking love this game. Uh, yes. What can I dump? I really, I'm just, I'm a little too heavy in just certain places. Maybe I could trim off a pair of pants. Oh, take those pants off. Oh, sh <gasps> oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I did that stream. <laughs> Wanna meet that dad? What? No more save the world plot. I want my gold to be get a heater to start. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh. <laughs> Neil's tired of all this adventuring life. <laughs> Look, I'm not the chosen one. I'm just a dude. All right, I'm gonna drop my scrap metal. Let's. Tempted to drop the simple tool. I'll drop the simple tool for now because I'm sure I'll find more. And I need to be able to climb. And maybe some of my additional weight is just coming from the fact that these are wet. So let's sleep. Uh, well, here, I'll also read before I do that. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, wow, thank you. <laughs> what? That's just I I got a load of that. Sorry, it's the wine. <laughs> it's the wine. Instead of making me sultry, it makes yes. me. <laughs> it does. I hate wine. <laughs> I don't like it. Have you played Frostpunk? I've seen someone play Frostpunk, and I also Frost... love it. Frostpunk is a lot of fun. Yeah, I I like the atmosphere a lot in Frostpunk. All right. Now, because I am literally about to pass out, sleep. Not seen or heard of it. Oh, Ethan, Frostpunk's hella good. Dude, it's super good. Yeah, it's a real good game. Oh, hey, the uh, the Aurora is happening. The Aurora Borealis? Oh, yeah. Food. So Neil can see this this part of the game as well. Uh, I'm gonna eat this energy bar. <coughs> How am I doing weight-wise? I am under, which is good. Let me grab... Where yeah, it's called Perseverant. A story game of desperate survival. Where the hell? Where's, where are my matches? Yeah, it's literally you're dropped in a survival scenario and you try and live. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, wait, I'll... I'll send you guys Sprain an email risk, with the PDF. Yeah. All right, now the aurora is happening, which means all electricity suddenly starts working. Which is how that works. Well, it's part of this game's lore. You know this. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Uh, here, I'm gonna pop a. <laughs> I'm gonna pop a, <laughs> a big energy drink real quick. Actually, I'm not gonna pop it. 
In fact, I'm going to drop it, which will give me the energy to climb this anyway. As I'm no longer yeah. heavy. Pop and lock. It's like if the long dark was a city builder. Uh, similar, yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. The long dark... Sn snowy post-apocalypse, you're running a, a civilization. What I like about the long dark is the only things that are not realistic are the fact that this aurora cuts... It normally cuts off all electricity, except for when it's happening and then it comes back. And it makes animals more aggressive. Everything about the long dark after that is pretty realistic. Firewood. Uh, am I on the additional thing that I can't get up now because I need a second one up there? Wow, sure fucking looks like it, so this was pointless. Ugh. Alright, then I am gonna pop that fucking energy drink because I need energy. I sent, I sent the email if you want to look at that, Neil. Right, where's that energy drink? I'm gonna fucking chug it. That's the crow feather. Here it is. Drink. Fatigue reduced. Whoa! My fatigue's maxed. Oh, for a bit I just have pure energy. What? Well, Pretty, that's actually really fucking good. I'm sure I'm going to crash hard afterwards, but for now. <laughs> this will help me at least get out of Coastal Highway. Um, no, excuse me. I really want to find some crampons. Um, is there a new thing? Yes, they are. Yeah. They also... Because uh, they also have... They, they do the thing crampons are supposed to do, where they help you, like, cross ice. Yeah. Uh, but they also reduce sprain risk. Which I yeah. think is pretty fucking cool. No, yeah, I... they're, they're, they seem pretty useful. Yeah, they also I... added some sort of backpack thing to help Yeah, you. it's like a... I don't, I'm curious if it, like, takes up an equipment slot, or if it's just like, hey, here's five additional pounds, five additional kilos of carry weight. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure myself. I prefer the latter, but I can understand the first. Man, I'd like to get to Ash Canyon. <laughs> so we can find the goddamn gold mine. I'd like to get to Ash Ketchum. So? I'm For what purpose? I'm going my goals. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I I meant more for for what purpose. Like, uh, beat his ass and prove I'm the better trainer. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's only won one championship. Yeah. And it took him, like, 20 years to do it. He's beat literal legendaries with one Pikachu, but he can't win a championship. No, no. To be fair, in some of those championships, people were using actual legendaries against him. You really had the deck stacked against him sometimes. Yeah, he did. In some cases, it's just like, why did you lose? Yeah. <laughs> All right. This should be Pleasant Valley right over here. Oh, I'm crashing. All right. <laughs> yeah. He's just, just passing out. Just... <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Shit. I'm gonna... Are oh, you been drinking wine, too? No. <laughs> oh, cool. The lights are actually on in this mine. Um, I'm gonna pop a flare, though. Because I need to see. Rifle cartridge. More matches. That is always a take. Ooh, insulated boots. They are... Mm. Oh, I have a crippling oh. headache. Oh, okay, it's just kind of distracting. All right. 
So these... Can distract them, crippling. They are better. Same thing. They're heavier, but they are much better, so I might take them anyway. And I'll just drop these other ones, because I don't want to carry with the weight. Now I am much warmer. All right, actually, those uh, those uh, energy drinks are, are pretty good. This is this is spooky. Mm, spookums. It's funny because like this game does have very like creepy elements at point, but it's not inherently a creepy game. No, but there is sometimes it feels incredibly creepy just because yeah. it's so like desolate. Yeah, that's a that's a good way to put it. Like, when I walked into that crib room, maybe the scariest experience I've ever had with a video game. They just happen to be your size lucky story. <laughs> I'm a woman, my feet are smaller, they fit right in. <laughs> Shove some so He's wearing a lot of pairs of socks. I am wearing two pairs of socks. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> and these were probably miners' feet, so they're probably big. They probably or don't fit small, comfortably. They're underage. Ooh. <laughs> Child miners in Canada. No, miners. Oh, shit, you right. Oh, God, this is... This is spooky. I like that you didn't... You didn't get my joke, but you just went along with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, top miners, you can't. <laughs> no, I got the... I got the minor joke afterwards, but yeah. Yeah, but like, you were so ready to just go along with it, even though you are like... Fuck that. <laughs> Where's he going with this? Man, I you always stick to the bit. <laughs> I I know this to be true. You've gotta stick it's with like, the bit. Like yeah, child miners. Like, no. Miners. <laughs> when is the brain alien gonna attack? Uh Ethan Shush. Brain alien? You know? The one well, that he's gotta he's gotta find an Arctic base and then the alien will attack. No. Oh and go with the bit. He's talking about the Grell. Yeah, but I'm talking about the thing. Oh, uh, well. John Carpenter's The Thing. 1981? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when that movie was made. It's a, it's an 80s movie. I think it was 81. Uh, What's down here? Nothing. Cool. Uh, oh, fuck. I got Pleasant Valley to go through after this. <laughs> Yeah, how can it be bad, Joey? Pleasant's in the name. Yeah, Cheyenne's already made that joke. <laughs> well, Joey, clearly you have a taste in friends. You have a friend type. Yeah, I do. The thing scares me more than a, a grill. Yeah. That's... yeah. Because it can look like anyone. So it's like a doppelganger? Uh, not quite. What? What's different? Uh, it's really gruesome. Oh. And it it doesn't just look like anyone. It's got, like, it can do, like, in-between form. Like, when it shifts, it's got a lot of, like, in-between forms, and it can basically turn into, like, whatever. Oh. Yeah, that's a little bit... That's that's perturbing, to say the least. Dude, if you've never seen that movie, watch it. The, the, the practical effects mm -hmm. are so good. Right. I've seen it multiple times, and still when I see it, those fucking gore effects come on, I'm like, oh. Mm. And I've seen it like a million times. Right. I probably won't, just because I don't like spooky, but... It's not like a, ooh, eerie thing. It's like, oh. Yeah, no, that one's even worse, to be honest. Oh, but it's so good. I prefer eerie over... Argh. Is it also parasitic, like the host sometimes doesn't even know, or am I remembering wrong? Uh, so it doesn't have a host, it kills the people, and then it can just be like, yeah, I can look like them, and mimic them. But it, it's not, it's not parasitic, it is, it destroys them, and just like, it's like, yeah, now I just, I'll, I'll imitate them. Gross. <laughs> Yeet. Sure, that's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. On the plus side, because I do have so much fucking clothes that we are walking around and I'm not cold, despite the fact that it's the dead of night and there are wind. There is wind. There are wind. There are wind. All right. Uh, <laughs> there are wind here. 
I think I remember how to get to Timberwolf Mountain from Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley's so goddamn big. <laughs> yeah, it's not small. I want to say it's over on the right, but I might... You know, let's just make sure. I'm going to look up a map. <laughs> <laughs> just going to... While you do that, I can... Hmm. Yes. This is The World by Jennifer Chang. One winter I lived north, alone and effortless, dreaming myself into the past. Perhaps I thought words could replenish privacy. Outside, a red bicycle froze into form, made the world falser in its white austerity. So much happens after harvest. The moon performing novelty. Slaughter. Snow. One hour the same as the next. I held my hands, or held the snow. I was like sculpture, forgetting, or perhaps remembering everything. Red wings in the snow. Red thoughts ablaze in the war I was having with myself again. Everything I hate about the world, I hate about myself. Even now, writing as if this were a law of nature. Say there were deer fleet in the snow, walking out the cold. And more ginkgos bear in the beggar's grove. Say I was not the only one who saw or heard the trees. Their diffidence greater than my noise. Perhaps the future is a tiny flame I'll nick from a candle. First, I'm burning. Then, numb. Why must every winter grow colder and more sure? And that was The World by Jennifer Chang. To answer your question, Cheyenne, no, it is not cheating. No one likes being in Pleasant Valley longer than they have to be. <laughs> and for the sake of the actual purpose of this stream, I need to get to Ash Canyon. Man, the world is dark according to that poem. The world's dark according to the world. Yeah. Alright, well, good thing I don't base my idea of cheating around what you think, Cheyenne. That could lead to problems in a relationship. Well, I guess. Two different ideas of cheating. Yeah, no, that can. <laughs> it's like, what, babe? No, like, you just, like, kiss. That's cheating to you, but I don't... That's actually, that actually does come up in a lot of relationship issues. There's different uh, ideas of what... What? No, babe, it was only anal. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Catholics be like, it's not sex before marriage, though. So, if fine. Jesus is cool with it, why aren't you? <laughs> what if? <laughs> you know someone's made the argument. Oh, yeah, someone absolutely has, but like, oh, that's a wolf. And but it's I absolutely... Them for their boldness. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a bold move. Oh, hello, dog. He really went for it with that howl. Yeah, he did. He's just like, I can hit that note. I don't want to fucking deal with this wolf. Mm. Oh, fuck Pleasant Valley, man. Ugh, oh, alright. Let's go down... this way. So basically, it's very dark and you can't see, but, um, I need to go... <laughs> I need to go towards, like, the west of this area. And now I'm, I, mean, I have a sprained ankle and I'm in pain. Great. This valley is not very pleasant. Now you're catching on to it, Ethan. That is the issue with this area. I'm gonna pop some pills. Pills here. Pills here! It's not helping the sprained part of the ankle, but at least I'm feeling better about it. Ah. And once again, it is actually snowing right now, and I am warming up. <laughs> hey, man, installation will do wonders. Yeah, would it be war uh, safer to wait for a day somewhere? I don't care about safer right now. You know, I'll I think live. if I were, I think if I were in this apocalypse, right? Uh -huh. I'd I'd go to a house. One profession, one that produces light. And I'd I'd go to uh, the attic. Uh -huh. And I'd I'd 
take a thin jacket and I'd cut it open. Uh, I have sewing supplies in this scenario. Uh -huh. And I just fill it with like roofing insulation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I'll be toasty as shit. I meant to grab the stick and I shot the fucking ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit! Sorry! This guy's not fucking around. Give him the stick, give him the stick, Jesus! <laughs> no fuck with me, Earth! Alright, here's a house. It's broken down. It's a broken house, but maybe there's another one. Another terrible thing about Pleasant Valley. Not a lot of good structures. No, not really. That coat, that coat will itch like a mother. Yeah, that's... Yeah, but I'll be so warm. <laughs> Housing insulation is not healthy for you. No, it's not. That was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll... That will fucking kill you fast. You'll be like one of those dead bodies that we just find in attics. You'll be like, wow, it's so warm. <laughs> and dog food. And put the peaches. It's banged up, though. We're just gonna make a fire in here real quick, and I'm gonna rest a little bit. Um, oh, fire, you say? Yes. Get it ready, Ellen. <laughs> Being too warm can also kill you, cause sweat. I mean, yeah. Then you'd be dehydrated. <laughs> this is Little Getting by T.S. Eliot heard of him. Is that part of the title? No. Oh. Midwinter spring and it's is its own season. Sempatern Sempatern God, I should have read these beforehand. Sempaterno through Sodden towards sundown, suspended in time between cold and tropic. When the short day is brightest with frost and fire, the brief sun flames the ice. On pond and ditches, in windless cold, that is the heart's heat. Reflecting in a watery mirror, a glare that is blindness in the early afternoon, and glow more intense than blaze of a branch or brazier, stirs the dumb spirit. No wind but Pentecostal fire in the dark time of the year. What we call the beginning is often the end, and to make an end is to make a beginning. The end is where we start from. Every phrase in every sentence is an end and a beginning. And that was Little Gidding by T.S. Eliot. Made it through another night. That's the poetry voice. <laughs> oh, my, uh, my cooking went up. Jesse. What? Make a fire. I'm ready to cook. Uh, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make some coffee. Oh, once I have some water, I'll make some coffee. When I go out on walks, my mac mask catches my breath so much that it slowly starts to fur it in slowly starts to first make my mask wet, then freeze it. So, talk about frozen sweat being worse. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get some sticks. I would like to rest for about four hours to fix my goddamn leg, but... Four hours of rest? What a fucking luxury. Yeah, uh, honestly. <laughs> also, imagine just, la like, laying down for four hours and your sprained <laughs> sprained leg just being fine. I'm just... Ah! <laughs> it's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright, um... No, the whole time he's laying there, he's literally just going, ah, ah I'm just in so much pain, ah. <coughs> All right, fuck resting. I'm just going to patch it up with a, uh, a bandage. Fuck resting. You know, homies hate resting. Sprained ankles kind of do that. Apparently, Neil has been reading your RPG. It's neat, isn't it? Oh, fuck, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm staying here anyway. Yeah, it reminds you of the quiet year. The quiet year was an interesting one. I like that one. Oh, yeah, we played that. Yeah. Played it, 
I think we played the quiet year like once, but then we played the deep forest a few times. Yes. Not how bad of a sprain. All right, well, I'm gonna drink some coffee. Reduce some fatigue. I'm not sure I'm caring much uh, and I guess uh, while I just am here for an hour, let's do some reading. Remember, uh, Owen, when you guys, like, I think we got on a, a Discord call while I was playing The Long Dark, and uh, I had a blizzard last for 24 hours during yeah. that one call. I don't remember that, but I believe it. Oh, good. It uh, shifted, so now this fire sucks. Great. <laughs> Thank you, The Long Dark. This is just swell. Oh, uh, all right. Hold on. I'm going to... Can you set up tents or stuff to build more shelter? No, nah, there's yes and no. You can set up a... Um... Oh, hold on. I'm just checking out where I am in regard to everything. Uh, There's not a good amount of shelter nearby. Slash. Yeah, there's there's like none. Uh, There is a cave? All right, hold on. Um, No, you can't set up like a tent or anything like that, but I can make a snow shelter with a bunch of sticks and cloth where I just dig out into the snow like a small little hovel to lay in, and that works as insulation. It can be useful during a blizzard, uh, but sometimes blizzards are just too hella cold. Yeah. And it, it doesn't matter. But they are usually pretty good. Yeah, it's really just more helpful if you get caught out at night. Yeah, and like you, you, you just need something now because you're gonna freeze to death. It's very useful at the beginning of the game because you usually have access to a lot of sticks and a decent amount of cloth, which is what, which is what you need. For a while, in the early, early days of the game, when there were like two zones total, yeah. I um, I spent a lot of time in one game, in one of those train carts, one yeah. of the derailed train cars in the first zone, and just set up everything in there. Yeah, yeah, it's valid. Yeah. Now that place is like always heavily heart, uh, guarded by wolves. Yeah, but like that was that was just where I was like, well, this is sheltered. Yeah, All right, there should be a cave somewhere around here. Like you can like. Neil's got a. a... RPG idea for you. Oh. We're a group of exiled cult folk trying to cross over a mountain range to the promised land. Now, when you say cult folk, right, <laughs> I need a little more specificity. Like, a cult today, where, like, like we escaped Jonestown? <laughs> or, like... Drink the juice. Or, like, we, we started a cult and we're, like... But it's not, like, a malicious cult and we're just trying to reach the promised land. Like, I need you to specify about this cult. Alright, we're gonna sleep for about six hours. More vague fantasies. Okay, so we're just some people who are like, yeah, I believe this thing. Right. Am I God. actually going okay. to... Okay, I just, I just barely <laughs> outslept the, the blizzard. Good. Alright, continuing on. I think the original Christians versus Rome. So we're a bunch of fucking heathens is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Alright, so I think if I follow this river uh, and I can get back up, there'll be like a waterfall-esque area and I want to be near there. And that's how I can get to Timberwolf Mountain. And then once we Neil. get to Timberwolf Mountain, I know exactly where I'm going. Neil, pop quiz. Who was the last pagan emperor of Rome? Pop quiz. <laughs> I've contacted your professors. If you don't answer this correctly, you fail your classes. <laughs> Maybe there was a failed rebellion or something, and now we just have to fucking go. I like winter survival. Yeah, because it's rough. Yeah. I like... <sighs> I like Winter Survival that isn't just, like, winter will always consume. Because, like, you can last a decent, like, if you're smart. 
I know it was someone that- But do you know their name? <gasps> dun dun. Will Neil feel his glasses? Dun dun. Mm -hmm. Wait, I need a name here, Neil. Name. I'll even take one, you know, because, because uh, you know, Roman. Emperor... Was it, it Julian. was Julian? Yeah. Wow. It was, it was Flavius Claudius Julianus. It was Julian. Wow. Ethics is boring. Uh, well, <laughs> as the man with the psychology degree, I can tell you that it's very important. What? Who has ethics? Uh -huh. Those are made up. No, they're a good thing. They're made up. They're a good thing. It's so things like, uh, the, I think it, was it, was it the Tennessee syphilis study? Doesn't happen again. For those of you not familiar with that, um, way back in like the 60s, I believe, uh, we were, we were doing a study on syphilis to kind of get an idea how syphilis came about and then like, try to devise some way of like curing it uh so mm -hmm. they <laughs> they paid african americans money yeah. to get syphilis mm -hmm. and then didn't cure them of the syphilis when they actually got it and also didn't tell them that they were giving them syphilis uh yeah that look ethically there's a lot wrong can, there <laughs> look we can just say in the history of our country, we've done a lot of bad things to African Americans. Yeah. I mean... I think that about sums it up. We've done a lot of bad things to it. Yeah, it doesn't mean we should not, you know, make sure that shit doesn't happen again. Oh, no, of course. Like, if we're gonna do bad things, don't base it on race. <laughs> just Maybe. base it on, like, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe just don't do bad things. Just be like, fuck him in particular. Fuck this man in particular. Alright, so I think we're getting pretty close. We are being chased by a wolf, but it's fine. No. <laughs> Columbus being the worst is why... Is why is have syphilis. <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was a weird was way it? to say that, but... Yeah. Was it syphilis or is it like... Um, what's a... I think it is syphilis, but I can't remember if those syphilis are like another STD. One of those. It's a bad time. It's uh, if you're if you're curious about uh, psychological history and uh, uh, what do we call it? Um, oh, there's a specific word that we use, but uh, reasons why culturally African Americans do not trust doctors is one of those reasons. Joseph, I have a question for you that is unrelated to this conversation. Sure. Uh, so, uh, vaguely related to you and your major. Vaguely. My degree, yeah. Yeah. You know, the thing you majored in. Yeah. Uh, so, the German word, uh, schadenfreude. Uh-huh. Which is, I, be I believe it's the, the word for, like, deriving pleasure from, like, the pain of others or something. Yeah. Like, misery of others, something like that. Uh -huh. Did that come before or after uh, Freud? Was it named after him or was he named after it? Uh, hold on. Uh, I don't. I, I bring this up purely because the noise Freud is in both things. Well, if that is your reasoning, my guess is probably not. But uh... oh, so was Freud German? No, he was Austrian. So German. Okay. <laughs> Austrians everywhere would like to have a word with you. Yeah, but Hitler was Austrian, but he was German. Mm, he was Austrian. He just yeah, you know. but like he, but like everyone, like you're like, what was Hitler? And people are like German. Yeah, and they're wrong. <laughs> but like you know, it's it's semantics. I guess. All right, I need to kill this wolf because I think I need to climb this. Uh, so this wolf either needs to go away or it needs to die. I think. Either way, it's going away. Uh, where the fuck am I? Did I go down too south? Or is this something else entirely? This is something else entirely. I have gone down uh, too south. Did you go Did you go too far south? I don't know. Have you hit New York? I don't know. Oh. Because if you've hit New York, you've gone, like, you're, you're at the limit. Right. <laughs> I would say you've gone too far, but, like, sometimes you want to visit New York. 
Right. Uh, I'm gonna drop the pry bar. Anywhere, anywhere more southern than New York is too far south. Shut the fuck up, Wolf. So you did not sound happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here, Wolf. Uh, let's drink some water, see if that'll ruin it. Schoenfreud is spelled differently than Freud. Yes, it is. I, I really doubt it was named after Freud. Yeah, it's... but, like, spelling is whatever. Also, like, Freud wasn't that long ago. He was less than a... Well, actually, this at this point, he was 100 years ago. But the German language, I, I doubt the idea of deriving pleasure from pain is something that the Germans are just like, yeah, uh, 100 years ago, that's when we started realizing that was a thing. Um, I mean, probably not the idea, but the German language is not super old. Uh, that's fair. I, I, most modern languages aren't that old, really, in their modern dialects. No. Spelling is whatever. Flashback to Owen last stream getting heated over the word, the Japanese word desu. <laughs> because it's not spelled how he pronounced it. Well, Owen, I hate to break it to you, but every language ever is like that. Let me make a language. I'll make a good one. <laughs> Let me make a language. God damn it, another fucking blizzard! Pleasant Valley sucks! Well, if you're sick of the blizzard, stop going to Dairy Queen. Ah, no, I'm too encumbered to climb. Fuck you, I am. Am I too... Oh, it's because I'm too wet. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh. Yeah. What now? Just Would climb. you say that you're too moist to climb? Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping I triggered at least one person in your chat. Nah. <laughs> I need to. I need to warm up. You probably did. There's if probably some. I triggered you. Please say so. I. I want to know. I derive pleasure from it. back up. Thankfully, coal is hella hot. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> it's an artifact from spoken language being transcribed by different monks and scholars by different ways of spelling words. Uh, <laughs> Ethan is apparently anti-triggered. <laughs> Don't know what that means. What's an... Wait, what is he referring to as an artifact from spoken language? Uh, the spelling? fact that... Yeah, spur, well, spelling Yeah, words. but we had the opportunity to fix it when we started printing and we made one main dialect instead of regional dialects because there were regional spellings and just entire like ways of speaking for things so we had an opportunity to fix it but we refused when we, just, when we unified the national dialects anti-triggered ethan is horned up by the word moist <laughs> <coughs> something like that yeah why I mean, is it always is it? Alright, uh, can I, can I make tea? Coffee? I can make some coffee. Alright, good. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, once again, people started writing on their own. It's hard to correct it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, excuse me. You're excused. Grab that. Uh, and let's just go. Warming up is such a good condition. It lets me walk around in a blizzard and not give a fuck. Let's fucking go. And now that I'm coffeeed up, I can climb up this really fast. Did you get that from Duncan? Yeah. Actually, I'm this pretty sure it's like... You Duncan, though. I'm pretty sure the can is like a Folgers can. Folgers. Fogler's. Fogler? The library at the University of Maine? Alright, so I kind of know where I am. Hold on. Uh, there, there, there might be, there might be a wolf. Like, <laughs> right up ahead. So I'm just gonna preemptively pull out my pistol. Language with rigid rules is unpopular to speak English. 
All languages have rigid rules. They just have also have a good amount of exceptions to them. All right. What's up, dead guy? I don't want that. I don't want that. Where is your... What the fuck? There should be a basement somewhere around here. That I can get into. Maybe it's... Oh, okay, no, there's just one of the... There's just one of the houses. There should be another house that has a basement I can get into. Uh, Chad is disagreeing with you. Yeah, but like... I'm me, so... So you'll just ignore it? So I'm right. Uh, so you'll just ignore it? <laughs> I'm not ignoring it. I acknowledge that it's there, and I refute it. Yeah? <laughs> By saying... It's By me? By saying I'm right, shut up. Ah. Ignoring it. <laughs> no, I acknowledge it. <laughs> but I refuse to acknowledge it. No, I acknowledge it. I refuse to accept it as true. Oh, okay. Because it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, how about we get an expert in here? Colin Isaac White. Uh, he's, he, he's watching anime. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> You don't want to interrupt him when he's watching anime. Will he get upset -y? He gets upset just when anything happens. Yeah. Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna tear apart some of these clothes. Yes, Isaac. Whoa. Watch an the anime. An Imy. An Imy. An I'm and Ryman. Intact and tic tac time and. Ahoy, Badoy! Schnoi, Pinoy! Where's the weak man? <laughs> oh my god, Andrew Kerr told me a story about something that happened to him. Uh huh. So he's been. Uh, him and his girlfriend, Kayla, have been staying at Kayla's parents' house. Like, uh -huh. they've been living there. Uh huh. And <laughs> so. Uh, Andrew, uh, Andy, went out in the middle of the night, apparently, to just, like, go get something from the kitchen. Like, middle of the night. Uh -huh. And he just, because he's Andy, and he's, like, you know, just a weirdo, uh -huh. he just, in the darkness, went, where's the leak, ma'am? <laughs> and apparently, like, Kayla's mom was like, what was that? <laughs> like, uh, nothing, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Of what happened, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, that's funny. Where's the weak man? Alright, eat this shit. Alright. Back to it. I'm getting out of Pleasant Valley today. And then at two. At night. And then at two hours in, we'll meet Timberwolf Mountain. And then theoretically two hours and maybe like 20 minutes in, we should reach Ash Canyon. You think it'll take two hours to get to Timberwolf Mountain? No. <laughs> I didn't think it'd take this long to get to Timberwolf Mountain, and yet here we are. Maybe this time you're right. Maybe. It won't take me long to get through Timberwolf Mountain, because I actually know Timberwolf Mountain. And I just know how to walk through it. I am just so fucking confused by Pleasant Valley every time I'm in it. Because <laughs> this place sucks. I think someone's home. I don't know. The dog is barking. There's a cave. Does it have a bear in it? It's called the Burned Ridge Cave. I can't... Does it have a cave bear in it? I don't know. I can't see. It's got a rifle cartridge in it. And a Polaroid. Hell yeah! There it is. Oh, it's way over there. Will we ever get to it? Maybe. Uh, it's a big fucking maybe. <laughs> it implies that I want to come back to this area. Which is a, a big fucking... Mm, probably not. Alright. Alright, it is day I can see again. Thirsty, but it's fine. I will live. 
first key hole. Uh, always. All right, and there is a, a crash site. I think that's the crash site. Oh look, birds, Owen. That means there's another fucking blizzard coming. Wow, I didn't realize there was a crash site here. I started getting advertisements oh. for bird seed. <laughs> Explain. Exactly what I said. Yeah, no, but divulge more. Like, <laughs> what's it like? Uh, it's the same ad every time. It's like high quality bird. I, I'll have to remember it better than I can see. But it's like high quality bird seed filled with this and this and this. And I'm just watching it like eating popcorn or something. I'm like, I don't have birds. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think the algorithm has decided that you have birds and you need bird seed? <laughs> uh, I talk about birds a lot. <laughs> do you? I like birds. Uh huh. And I do talk. I like you know because your phone's always in your pocket. And it right. So like there are times when I just I'm like I just like look at Isaac or someone and I'm like man I want to get like like bird feed and like start feeding the crows. Ah yes. Yeah, that would do it actually. Yeah. <laughs> but I just started getting advertisements for birdseed. <laughs> so the, the way out is over here. And then it should just be up there. Alright. Almost, folks. We're almost to the purpose of this. Alright. Where the fuck? One time, a uh, mutual friend of ours who I'm not going to name, uh -huh. but you'll know exactly who I'm talking about yeah. based on the story. Uh -huh. um, they got an ad on Facebook once uh -huh. where it was like, you little dick, take these pills. <laughs> and they sent me a screenshot <laughs> and it just went, they meant to say, fuck you, Facebook, but they sent, fuck yup, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yup. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> hey, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, uh, I feel like I could probably say their name and it wouldn't matter, but... Uh, but yeah, you know, for respect's sake. Oh, I don't respect them. Okay, come on. It's just for... I don't. <laughs> Are you telling me you do? I give them the amount of respect that they deserve as another human uh, yeah, being. Yeah, none. No. They've lost... Look. I started out at base level human respect. They've lost a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I start everyone out at the same level of respect. You can go down, though. Yeah. And they have. <laughs> what about me, Owen? Where do I stand on this respect level? You've gone up and down. I feel like you probably end at base level. Ah, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> up and down. I tell you that I like Castlevania goes up. I tell you that I don't like sandwiches goes down. Yeah, basically anytime you talk about food, you drop. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it's severe enough that it counteracts all of the like, good friendship we've had over the years. Hold on one but second. Friendship... Oh. friendship does not equal respect. I'll say that right now. I can be your friend and not respect you at all. Yeah, or soup. Yeah, you're a like soup eater. When you spend one whole day conversing in English, a language that removes borrowed words and yes. French and Latin. Oh, why would I do that, Chad? Half our language is French. <laughs> the other half's Latin. I'll Google English, though. English? What about Middle English? Middle English is a fucking... <laughs> it is... It's a weird language to listen to. I had a professor who was, uh... Who was, like, a professor in Middle English. And she... It was something to, li have, to listen to her speak it. Alright, Chad. I've spent two seconds and I can't find examples of English. Give me an example. English is basically only the Danish and Germanic tongues. Oh. Ah, here we go. He 
Intact hymen. Alright. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, I will drink that, even though that was a terrible percentage, and I probably shouldn't have drank that. But, you know, I didn't die from it, so I'll drink the second one. I feel like that's a reasonable line of thought. Mm, yep, I'll take that too. We'll eat that now. English word book. This is a dictionary people have made. Alright, can I drop anything? Oh, absolutely I can. There's something in here I can drop. Uh... You know, I also have a lot of oil. Now that I look at it, I have a lot... I have a lot of oil. I do not need this much oil. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drop that lantern fuel. I don't even have a lantern! Like... I have all this lantern fuel. I should just start every fire now with fucking... Accelerant, because I think I have like six things of accelerant. Alright, so... Uh, we're about to enter Timberwolf Mountain in about two hours and, uh, about two hours and twelve minutes. Getting through Timberwolf Mountain, especially considering that it's day, should theoretically take me, uh, maybe twenty-ish minutes. Timberwolf Mountain is currently my most comfortable zone. Timberwolf Mountain, please. Man, Owen, remember when Timberwolf Mountain was released? Hello? Did he walk away? Did he leave me? It sounds like he left me. Alright, well... He dead. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Seems like he might be. Oh, did, hello. Oh, shit. Hold on. It did, did fucking... You want to know something really fucking funny right now? Your mic was muted the whole time? Uh, on Discord it was. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you know what it wasn't muted on? Ah, uh, Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause like I heard the game audio going, I was like, motherfucker's back. <laughs> He's not talking. Yeah, and I was like talking to you, being like, hey Owen, remember when Timberwolf Mountain was really? <laughs> wow. But I all dabbed and you were back on the Twitch, and I was like, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Cause I forget, um, I have passed my hotkey for muting on, um, on my Streamlabs is uh, forward slash. It's also the same thing that I used to um, mute in Discord, except in Discord, I have it toggle, and in um, OBS, I have it just be the hotkey to mute, and then I have my asterisk be my unmute. Right. So <laughs> I muted both of you at the same time, walked away, answered my phone call, came back. <laughs> Unmuted for Streamlabs, but did not unmute for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember that next time. Anyway, Timberwolf Mountain, my most comfortable zone. Owen, do you remember when Timberwolf Mountain was first released? I do, yeah. Yeah, remember when we were like, this is gonna be the hardest zone? I still think it's one of the hardest zones. I would say it's one of the harder ones, but having like, lived I in it for it, 30 days. Like, yeah. I find it harder than. The one you don't like. Uh, the one of the newer ones. The the bog. Oh, forlorn, not forlorn muskeg. More. Forlorn muskeg. No, I like forlorn muskeg. It's the newer newer one, not Ash Canyon, but the one before it. Um. Now, what was the one? It had the Timberwolves. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called. Yeah. Why not use Alt M or some other Alt key? Yeah, because I'm. Yeah, I mean, I'm not smart, like... <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you wanted to hear? Because, <laughs> like, I didn't think of it. 
I was just like, you know what? That's an easy key to hit, and it still is. <laughs> I'm only kind of tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> enough that I could think of the idea, but not enough to do the right idea for it. All right, we're gonna take a pit stop at the uh, little cottage here. So, fun fact, Owen. Uh, yeah. In my personal long dark game, I have two survival boats. Oh yeah. Both of which I found, which is pretty fucking outrageous because I still haven't found goddamn one in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you do. You gotta find one. Yeah, that'll that'll really help. Cause it means it'll just mean bagging rabbits is a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, like you'll that'll really help long term with just survival. Yeah, granted, we've been very nomadic, but yeah. But you know, I mean, we gotta find the new place. After that, we can just find a place to settle down. Yeah, we can just settle down in Ash Canyon. I just need to get inside. It's getting in, cold. in the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, the lighthouse at Ash Canyon that's deeply inland. Mm -hmm. No, we got we visit Ash Canyon, see it, then we're like, okay, cool. Then we go back to the lighthouse. Yeah. And we're like, okay, but this is home. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the lighthouse as a permanent residence as much as I like the one cabin that I have found in Ash Canyon. <laughs> I love the lighthouse. Is it the most effective? No. But I love it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, a lantern! God bless. And an arrow. I have four arrows. And no no bow. But I have four arrows, so. <laughs> no bow, but I can stab with them. Yeah. Ooh, another another wildness <laughs> kitchen. Another fucking book. Matches I'll take. Uh, this whetstone I'll take. Alright, uh, well, I'm probably gonna rest here for the night. Uh, well, not for the night, just enough that I can get my energy back. And I can do a few things, like, uh, read something. Uh, let's finish up this sewing primer. Uh, I only have... <laughs> you gotta, gotta read a book to learn how to sew, so... Yeah. Did uh did you get taught to, to sew in middle school? Uh, I think we did a brief thing on it in middle school. Also, my mother showed me. Oh. Well, I I was taught in middle school by the worst teacher in middle school. You know who they are. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I know, everyone knows who they are. Yeah. They were terrible. Yeah, they were they were absolutely terrible. Literally uh, made children cry. Yeah, yeah. I distinctly remember I was not good at sewing to the point that she made me uh. Like, get lunch and then go into her class and just sew there. <laughs> and I was just like, wow, you know, like, this is, I feel like this was deserved. <laughs> this feels May like I... a, this feels like a thing I should receive punishment for. <laughs> no, I, I do remember a brief uh, sewing thing in school. But yeah, also my mother showed us all how to sew. Uh, my mother doesn't really sew, so I didn't, I didn't learn from her. I mean, my mother doesn't really, like, sew, like, a lot. It's just one of those things where it's, like, it's a good skill to have. Yeah. True. It's in this hatch. More mat patches. Ooh, another parka. Um, I'll just break it down, I think. Break it down. Ethan's father showed him how to sew. How progressive. Oh. Well, isn't Ethan's father, like, a military man? Father. <laughs> oh, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Ethan's father was in some ranch in the Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that surprised then that he, one, knows how to sew, and then was like, my son needs to learn how to sew. My mom got mad at me because I know how to sew freehand on a sewing machine better than her. <laughs> 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 you flex on your mom <laughs> with your ability to sew. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm gonna drop one of these ear ear wraps. I don't need both of them. Uh, I I know that they were something to wear on your ear, but you said ear wrap, and I immediately thought of like a veggie wrap, but just ear meat. <laughs> yeah, like, that sounds awful. That's like all cartilage. <laughs> I'm also gonna leave behind one of these pairs of pants. 
Middle school in Ta Kansas taught me how to use a sewing machine. I never learned how to use a sewing machine. It still kind of scares me. Uh, yeah, I learned how to use a sewing <coughs> machine too. I, I think my mother also showed me that. I also learned. I also saw a lot of sewing machines at a, a babysitter's. In the sweatshop I worked at as a child. <laughs> no, no, it was a babysitter. It's okay, Owen. You don't have to call them that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just a babysitter. It was the same one that, like, you know, showed me how to, like, dig out splinters with a needle. Uh, <laughs> I, I know we've talked about that before. <laughs> Maybe not on stream, but that, that's, that's some metal shit there. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get the splinter out. Yeah. Climbers, work journal. I forget Ethan grew up in Kansas a lot. Yeah. He feels like I, just, I often forget. It's just an important part of our life. Well, I just assume everyone's had the same life experiences as me. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's more what it is. That's a, that's a healthy mindset to have. <laughs> Like, I don't know, it's it's not like something I actively do, it's just like, you go in and you're like, I'm the norm. Yeah, yeah, fair. Like, you assume your experiences were normal, and then you just, like, go from there. Yeah. Kansas, Michigan, Missouri, New New York, and Maine. Jesus, Ethan's been <laughs> Missouri. A, Ethan's been around. Ethan, how'd you like Michigan? <laughs> Michigan. Michigan. Clean up that revolt for a little bit. Grab that, grab that. Uh. Uh. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. How heavy am I? Uh, not too bad. Uh, <coughs> I guess like maybe 160. That's actually, yeah, actually. Uh, it's, it's a little creepy that you knew that. <laughs> You look the part. I mean, I didn't, like, know it for a fact about you. I just imagined <coughs> it in my head and was like, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, I'm 160. I'm better at guessing weight than I am age. <laughs> I'm real bad at age. Yeah. You're like, I don't know, you're like 13. No, like, seriously, like, people would come through when I worked at Hannaford, and I'd look at them and be like, I have no idea. <coughs> like, it was a crapshoot as to whether or not I carded people. <laughs> I was like, these people could be 17 or 48. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we weigh the same? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm not surprised by that because that's like the healthy weight for our like size. How Ethan... tall are you? I'm 6'2". And I think Ethan is either also 6'2 or like 6... He's 6 foot? Ethan. I... Ethan, I don't know how much you how tall you are, but I imagine you're close to my height. Uh, and 160 is the healthy quote unquote weight for it. I'm six foot exactly. Yeah. I had. I, I do remember. I, I I know I'm the tallest out of the boys. Hell, I think I'm the tallest out of most of my friends. <laughs> I am a tall boy. It is. Fucking blizzard this right now. This can't be right. <laughs> what? I'm looking at, um. Good weights. This can't be correct. Okay. Hold on. Let me. That can't be true. That's. Oh. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, I was reading it wrong. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. Holy shit. Okay. Because <laughs> it uh, the the way this chart works is it goes, um, height and it gives it in inches and then like in smaller print in parentheses it's like. 6'2", you know? Uh-huh. So, like, yeah. I didn't see that at first, so I just saw 62, and I thought it was, like, 6'2". It oh. just means 62 inches. So it's for 5'2", but I thought it was 6'2", and it was, like, the healthy weight is 104 to 135. I was like, that can't be right. Yeah. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> That's dangerous. You were one of the tallest people I knew, and then I met my, one of my roommates who was 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, no, same with me. I was also one of the tallest people I knew until I met one of my roommates who was, like, 6'8". <laughs> I felt like a baby around him. <laughs> it was, was it because, like, he cradled you in his arms? Well, you don't got to bring Lovingly. it up. With, you don't got to bring it up <laughs> in the stream, okay? Like, uh, no, he was, just, he was very tall, much taller than me. It was a time. Yeah, it was a time. I need to get more old beers lichen because it's just it it does the infection thing, but it's not as heavy as antiseptic. 
Uh huh. Uh, I'm gonna leave some am antibiotics and some painkillers behind because for some reason, uh, it, a pill, a bottle of pills with six painkillers is a tenth of a kilogram. I mean, you know, it happens. I always get a little bit weirded out by some of the the weights in in the long dark. Yeah, but they're all metrics, so like who even knows? Well, like okay, listen. Here's the thing, though. We can uh, we can. <laughs> We can go to accessibility. At, no, not accessibility. Uh, we can go to. I want to say it's display, and switch this shit to imperial. If you really want to see how fucky this is, um, because now it's telling me that four pills, six pills, is a fifth of a pound. I just don't believe that's goddamn true. Uh, okay. Okay. Well. Well, if you think about how light a pound is and how. Maybe how big those pills are. <laughs> how big these painkillers I'm taking on. It, Do you want to tell more... me that my pair of socks is half of a pound? Maybe it's more emotional weight. <laughs> yeah. <of the> pills. <laughs> like, your addiction weighs on you. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the saucepan, two pounds. I believe that 100%. Well, yeah, if it's cast iron, yes. but No, cast iron would be heavier than that. Yeah, you think so? I, I believe a normal saucepan would be two pounds. Well, some of the other things are fucking batshit, and I don't believe it. <laughs> the pills being that heavy, that's bullshit. Yes, that is a little wonky. But <laughs> but I believe the saucepan, 100%. I don't like the... I think it's a little bullshit <laughs> that uh, 12 pills is heavier than one arrow. Also including the tube, though. The tube is not heavy. I mean, look, I'm not saying that it's... I'm not defending it, but arrows are pretty light. It's not as absurd as you think. Yeah. Arrows are light. I can believe... I can trust that. But some of this other shit, a uh, no. I'm like, fuck you, that's, that's heavy. <laughs> I don't know. I've already said my piece about what I believe weight should be in the long dark, and it's not... Um, I don't want to go out in a blizzard, so I'm going to read a book real quick. Uh, actually, I read a book, so I'm going to start a fire instead and make some water. Start <coughs> that fire. Make that water. Hi, Morgana. Speaking of fire. Hmm. An old man's winter night. Five rock frost. All out of doors looks darkly in at him, through the thin frost, almost in separate stars, that gathers on the pane in empty rooms. What kept his eyes from giving back to the gaze was the lamp tilted near them in his hand. What kept him from remembering was it was the... What it was that brought him to the creaking room was age. He stood with barrels round him at a loss. And having scared the cellar under him in plomping there, he scarred it once again in plomping off, and scarred the outer night, which had its sounds familiar, like the roar of trees and crack of branches. Common things, but nothing so like beating on a box. A light he was to no one but himself, where now he sat concerned with he knew what. A quiet light, and then not even that. He consigned to the moon, such as she was, so late arising, to the broken moon, as better than the sun in any case, for such a charge his snow upon the roof, his icicles along the wall to keep, and slept. The log that shifted with a jolt, once in the stove, disturbed him, and he shifted, and eased his heavy breathing, but still slept. One aged man, one man can't keep a house, a farm, a countryside, or, if he can, it's thus he does it of a winter night. And that was An Old Man's Winter Night by Robert Frost. Man, that guy's really good. Why'd the beating of a box come into it? I don't understand that part. <laughs> uh, I, it's, you, also, that guy's really good? You were Robert Frost? I, I, no, I, is, he, is he like, is he like an up-and-coming guy? Like... I think he, I think he should really like put himself out more. Maybe he'll get into some famous stuff. 
Yeah, I, I think he could be pretty well known. Yeah. I think so. I think he should if try. He just applied himself. Yeah, that's it. Ah, I'm remembering that my way of getting to it might be a was faster because I put down mountaineering rope. We might it might take me a little longer to get to Ash Canyon than I would like. Fuck. Jokes. Can't believe you do this to your loyal fans. I know. Would you guys describe yourself as Joey's fans, or would you still just say you're his friends that watch his streams? That's a way to put it. Would you it. call like would you call yourself his fans? Do you enjoy like, yeah, my I'm, content, I'm, or are you just here no, because you like me? Means. You can enjoy it and still be like, yeah, it's Joey. Or would you say, like, I'm, I'm a fan of the streams? Like, I'm a fan of the channel. Would, like, would you say that? Oh, there is a rope. Okay, we're good. And now we wait. Or we don't get a response because no one wants to tell me that they hate them work. <laughs> Everyone's just, like, tugging on their collar. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to bring it up, Owen? Oh. I don't think I tuned in enough to be a fan. That's fair. <laughs> what Neil is saying is he hates it. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason he doesn't tune in a lot. <laughs> Neil's described to me why he doesn't tune in a lot, and I understand it. What was his excuse? Uh, it's just not a big Twitch user. Yeah. I'm also not. I, I try and turn into tune into Stardew whenever I can, though. I enjoy Stardew. Yeah, well, it's ironic because Stardew's currently on hold. <laughs> no! It's because no one tuned into Stardew, <laughs> and also it, the in, the enjoyment factor of it is uh, dwindling because I'm reaching year three, and year three is like the end of Stardew. <laughs> I'm just slowly lagging behind this bear, hoping that he doesn't turn around and be like, "Who?" Oh. Because no. a bear charging me would probably end my goddamn career right now. I'm fucked in this man's whole career. It is. Walk away. Walk away. Alright. So there might be a wolf in this little canyon area, but we should be fine. Because I've got gun. Gun. And for Joker's special, he has gun. Oh, and that was a meme. I do not. I don't remember that at all. I don't know what you're talking about. It was shortly after Joker got announced for Smash. And like they produced his kit. Who? Joker from Persona 5. Oh, and do you not know Persona 5? I've seen you play it like twice. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you've watched me play Persona 4. On stream, I have, but I was at your house when you played Persona 5. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you were. Were you? Yes, I play. I watched you play it a couple times. You were trying to bang the nurse. That's uh, that's Persona Four. <laughs> no, I've seen you. It's the one where you go into the dream worlds, right? No. Which one's Persona Five then? Persona Five is the one. It's not dreams per se. It's like palaces. What? Now I'm trying to remember what game you're referring okay. to. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Joseph, I, I'll tell you something that should distinguish it. Uh -huh. So Persona Five, the one I'm thinking of. Uh -huh. You would go to this place, and uh -huh. there were, like, chains, and you'd buy, like, creatures that had a lot of names based on mythology, and it was, like, kind of like loot boxes, I guess. I... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Persona 5. Yeah, I, I saw you play it a few times at your house. All right. I don't think... I'm trying to remember that. I don't... I don't think it was a nurse character. I don't know. It was someone that you shouldn't be trying to fuck. <laughs> Uh, my teacher? As a student, maybe, yeah. yeah. Someone that was like, should have been like, mm, no. Yeah, it was probably my teacher. Yeah, and like, they, like, one of the dudes had like the, like the mask over his eyes. Like a coat. Oh. Yeah, that, that's Persona. Five in general, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah, no, I, I definitely saw you play Persona 5. Alright, alright, alright. That's true. Well, Joker's the guy you play as in Persona 5. The fucking... Got it, the main character. Yes. 
He's in Smash Brothers. I kind of stopped following who they introduced to Smash. Uh, it's gone a little wild, but I mean, it's still, you know, Smash. I just, I'll, I'll pick back up when they bring Waluigi in. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed your time at the Smash community. Yeah. But he's an like, assist it's, trophy, it's so. It's getting absurd at this point. I know you're a Waluigi hater, Joseph, and I, I can't pretend to understand. <laughs> I I don't understand why you like him. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the He's only the response I ever get. He's the best one. He's shown no love. Because <laughs> he's not the best one. <laughs> he is. Who's no. better? Mario? No, Luigi. <laughs> Luigi is... If you like Luigi, you should like Waluigi. He's no. the. No, he's, he's the, the antithesis dwarf. of him. That's the yeah. entire point of them. <laughs> he's the he's the Wario to Luigi's Mario. Yeah. Do you think I'm like? Oh, I like Mario, so I also like Wario. No, but I think Wario's also in Smash. Yeah, he is. Because he has his own game. Well, he has his own. Give Waluigi his own game too. No. <laughs> also, not everyone in Smash has their own game. <laughs> Uh, no. That is not a requirement. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, it produces more of a an easier way to just kind of meld him right in. <laughs> Ethan's just saying, why? <laughs> in chat. <Why? laughs> oh. Yeah, you know who's in there? Uh-huh. That Daisy. Yeah? Daisy doesn't have her own game. She's her, she's like in the, um... In the Game Boy Mario, she's like the main person you're trying to save. Yeah, she's in there, but she doesn't have her own game. No. I don't know what to tell you, and I'm not the people who make the choices, but I'm just saying I agree Something with the good about right their choices. To Miyamoto. Nah, I think I like it. <laughs> there have to be like four people that look exactly like Marth. <laughs> but we can't get Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> None of the Fire Emblem characters are any different. They no, all look the same. No, they're, they're all blue hair with swords. No, they're not. <laughs> there are three blue hair with swords. Two of them play similarly because one is an Echo Fighter. But the other one does not play similarly to it. There should have been one blue hair with sword. Why do we need more than one? I don't know. Why do we have three, three fat Italian men? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and you want to add a fourth? <laughs> no, how dare you call Waluigi fat? <laughs> it's an Italian he man. He's thin. <laughs> well, this isn't about race, Joey. Uh. <laughs> race. Actually, BDG proved they are all the same in an unraveled video. Oh. Oh, the fire, oh, the the fire emblem. I remember that video. It's just a trope thing. <laughs> <laughs> also, proved is a very strong word. <laughs> nah, he proved it. As a psychologist, I hate the word proved being thrown around. I have to be specifically a psychologist. Because in psychology, we have very specific ways of proving that anything can be, like, causality. Yeah, we but go over right it a lot. Then. But like that argument doesn't have anything to do with psychology. And also, but as a listen, is in like as, every science. Okay, well, Owen, <laughs> let me tell you how much I fucking went over. Correlation does not mean causation. I was yeah, told that like in every, every science. Yeah. But again, as a psychologist. Oh, sorry. As a scientist. There you go. <laughs> sorry, I had to boil that down to my base meaning of it. Where the fuck am I? Canyon. Huh? Ash Canyon? Uh, close. We're still in Timberwolf, but we're close. Scientists hate proof. Yeah. Scientists hate proof. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I gotta climb up that rope. Uh, and then we'll basically be there. 
And I was actually only 10 minutes over my projected time. To like reach it or like for the entire stream? For, uh, to reach it. We're not, we're not over my project. I still have another like 45 minutes of stream that I have left. Which means we'll reach Ash Canyon and then I'll have 30 minutes to probably get back to where I was and still not find the fucking gold mine. <laughs> but if I run... Phew. Wrong. Run. Run. I should have the energy to climb this. Yeah. What, Morgana? Ah, yes. Hello. Very cute. She's like, Father, you should know just calling me cute is not enough. Pay more attention to me. Only me. Say goodbye to those quote-unquote friends you have. They mean nothing compared to me. I am all you need, Father. <laughs> uh, on the plus side, I actually have a, a lamp now. So it's going to be less wasteful going through uh, this cave. I think is right around this corner. I think it's right here. It's right here. This is the cave. This is a wild thing about the long dark uh, that I, I will admit is a little frustrating for people who are like, oh, go to Ash Canyon and have fun. They do not fucking tell you how to get here. Morgana. No, but like this the world. No. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> exactly. I, what do you mean, does the world? Like, if I were dropped in, like, like if I personally were dropped in Timberwolf Mountain. Okay, but there comes a point where game immersion and, like, player friendliness needs to kind of, like, give a little something something. Yeah, but it varies depending on game and genre the, of the game. And the I feel least... Like, like, the least they could have done is in the patch notes be like, this is where you go to for it in Timberwolf Mountain. They don't do that. Well, at that point, they're just giving it away. Uh, Owen! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just, it's it, it'd be frustrating. Like, if I was just a casual player, I would be like, I would be years that I'd be like, I still don't really know how to get to Timberwolf Mountain unless I start there. Because if I just saw a rope up where up to somewhere, I'd be like, yeah, maybe I'd go up that way, but I probably wouldn't. Oh, that's how I discovered how to get anywhere. Like, I'd see something, I'd be like, oh, where's that? Hmm. Morgana, stop it. You don't play with that. I do what I please for you to tell me what to play with, Father. I'm gonna put it up on the shelf. I can get on shelves. <laughs> but you can't get on that shelf. I'll kick your tiny ass if you try. Bet. <laughs> oh, interesting. So when I played this on my own, uh, there was a dead wolf here, and there was a bunch uh -huh. of like re uh, revolver cartridges leading up to this dead body. Oh, but, shit. <laughs> yeah. this will come in but now it's just a dead body laying over, you know... Oh, that seemingly a fall that may have crushed their leg. That's cool. I didn't know they, I didn't know that was something that could be like randomly procedurally. Yeah. 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 Long dark. Yep. <laughs> good. Good game. Granted, of all the things that are quote unquote different each time, that's one of like. Oh uh, yeah, it's not a lot. No. But that's that's just neat. That's a little. That's a nice little thing. Yeah. What do you, so here's my question for you. Um, you don't, how, you don't play a lot of survival games, right? Uh, I used to play more. Okay. So, I do now. then you'd at least probably have an opinion on this. What do you prefer more? Uh, like randomly slash procedurally generated environments or like set environments in survival games? Um, I, 
I, I think each one has has its pluses in mind. Right. Um, but which do you prefer? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I, I, I think I'm about even on each of them. I think, mm. for, I think uh, set structured ones can let them do a lot of cool environmental storytelling and yeah. I think there can be a lot of neat like conscious design and I think they can be laid out better but yeah. I think randomly generated ones have more replayability and also can lead to cool just like whoa you know mm -hmm. like if Minecraft had just a set map people would not still be playing it today probably not no <coughs> probably not but on the other hand, if the Long Dark had like a procedurally generated map, I think it would probably be shit. Yeah. You know, it just it just depends on the game. Yeah. Because this game is uh, also we're in Ash Canyon finally. Yeah. Um, yeah, because this game is really good at I I talk about it a bit, but I feel like the good examples of it is like Husher Valley and Ash Canyon. It does very good job of like designing an interactable environment that you can kind of wander around um while being very minimalist in its design yeah so i so i kind of got to take it on a game by game basis yeah it's just a general preference that i'm asking because I, 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 I think i'm i think i'm even split is my answer yeah like i don't think i have a preference right yeah i think i'm in a similar boat I think I I think I prefer typically set maps because I do really enjoy like if you are good at sort of like making maps and having interact interesting environments I think it shines a lot better than just procedurally slash randomly designed. Yeah, but then you also get to the point where you're like you know everything about the map. Sure. And you're like, well, this game's not really like a challenge anymore because I know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't know. I think that. In the case of the Long Dark, I think that kind of enhances the experience. Because uh, yeah, and they also they also mitigate that by adding more areas. Yeah. Um, and the fact I, that there's yeah. no clear mapping, you do the mapping on your own. Yeah, but I yeah I just I think each one has has ups and downs. Right. So uh, there it is. <laughs> huh. It's a canyon. Yeah. You wanna know something? Huh. Uh, you see that mountain way up there? Yeah. Yeah, you can go there. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, Joe, we have our goal. You're going to make camp at the top of that mountain. Uh, I've been up there. There's not a lot there. That's where you're going to live. Oh. That's your permanent abode. No. <laughs> yep. No. That's the place. It's not a good permanent abode. There's like nothing up there. There's I I was talking to a bit, to Shine a bit about this while I was playing last night. Uh, I think Ash Canyon's one downfall is food availability. Uh huh. Uh, because I have found one pack of rabbits in the like three hours I was here. <laughs> I saw maybe two deer, and I saw like four wolves. <laughs> That's not. A lot. No. <laughs> Which is an issue long term. Right. But I, I still haven't explored all of it. Granted, I don't know if there's like a ice fishing area or like just a place where rabbits are way more plentiful. Like, I, don't, I don't know. So. There's probably something. Yeah. But ever, other than that, like, uh, the other natural environment stuff, like rose hips, uh, reishi mushrooms, beard moss, uh, hell, even, like, cattails, they're pretty plentiful. I mean, cattails are also food, too, so I guess that's sort of the offset to what I said, but they're not incredibly reliable at points. Right. But other than that, this map is pretty interesting and fun to kind of just kind of wander around. Nice. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, <laughs> the rope bridge right over there yeah uh you want to know a fun fact about the rope bridge can it break when you walk on it uh i don't think so but uh you know how rope bridges are in other games where you just kind of you keep pulling straight and you're probably fine yeah uh this thing actually moves with the wind oh that's awesome and you can in fact fall off of it <laughs> oh, i love a good rope bridge yeah and there's a few of them so yeah uh, you see how it's swaying 
yeah, as I walk, awesome. as I walk, you'll see I kind of get clipped up on the rope and stuff. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I won't actually go this way. Yeah, like fuck, I I could fall off right there. Dope as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very well done. Um, that being said, I'm not going that way because I know it's that way and I don't want to go that way. Uh huh. Because it's kind of long-winded, and I'll just have to take a rope back down to somewhere. Uh, I want to go this way. Because I either, A, don't think I went this way, or B, I think I know that went this way, and I know it'll lead us down faster. Or it's just a cave. Actually, I think it's just a cave. Also, the caves look really cool in this area. Oh, yeah? Are they, 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 they good caves? They look like, look, how big this cave is. It's awesome. I love caves. Yeah. In things. Hmm. Like, I think uh, I think cave stuff is cool. Also, did you notice how they changed the uh, the corpses that look a little less snow-covered and a little bit more... Oh, that's dark. Yeah, yeah, they do look a little just like the dead people. Yeah, it's... It's it's a little forebode... It's a little, not foreboding. It's a little creepy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sleep a bit because I need, I, need, I need to rest. But yeah, Ash Canyon. Oh my god, I'm getting another phone call. Hold on one second, y'all. It's so popular. Don't forget to unmute me. He's gonna forget to unmute me. Run right, him back. Uh, let's drink some water. And I guess I really don't have much of a choice. I think I do have to kind of cross that bridge and go up there. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the way that they want. This is the way. This is the way. Granted, I've never gone to the left directly outside when we get here, but yeah, I think this is sort of the... This is the way they want me to go. This, this is the way. Man, I want to talk about it, but I'm not going to talk about Mandalorian spo spoilers on stream. Well, just, you know, how many viewers do we have right now? Uh, no, Owen, I'm not gonna do that because these these vods last up a while can last a while. Yeah, but just be like, okay, we're about to start Mandalorian spoilers. No. Who, who in the chat? Who in the chat is caught up to the Mandalorian? Everyone report. <laughs> oh, <Owen>, no. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna do. They're all caught up. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We could talk about it. I think we already kind of talked. We already did kind of talk about it. It was just like um, about that thing that they kind of just glossed over that w should have been earth shattering. Yeah, the thing that made the rest of us vaguely uncomfortable but didn't seem to bother you. No, not that one. Oh. I am current. I'm caught up. I think we talked about it. Yeah. Um, was, it, was it the end of that episode? No. Wasn't in that episode at all. What are, what are you talking about? Uh, it has to do with Mando, not the child. Horde episode? Uh, the Horde episode? It's no, the... no, port. Where they're port. at, like, the yeah, water Yeah, plant. yes, yes. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, hello, deer. Literal deer, yeah. not just... Hi, how are you? Yeah, not just <laughs> saying that to you, Owen. Right, let's just take a hacksaw to it. Get this meat, because I am hungry. Current is the Defend the Rock episode, right? Yes. Yes, it is. It is that. Defend the Rock. Hello? Is anyone in this cave? I'll be right back. I need to bring something downstairs. All right. All right, I'm going to crack open this little light here. Hello? Sure Hello? Revolver ammo. Oh, and just a way through a... Oh, this is cool. Ooh, they don't do this very often. Ooh. Where the fuck am I? I'm gonna make a fire. Because I am hungry. Maybe some of my... A million accelerant that I have. Uh, well, I might not have enough... to make the food that I would like. No, so I'm gonna have to go grab some sticks, if I can, or some wood somewhere. Or I'm just gonna burn a book. Have I finished any of these books?
I haven't finished either of the Frozen Angler because I haven't read it. I don't... Mm, I don't have anything, do I? No? Alright, uh, let's check over here then. For any amount of sticks. Just chilling out over here. Any stick? Yeah, stick. Yeah, stick! <laughs> So beautiful. I love this game. What I love is this game also does just look better because I have like up <laughs> I have upgraded my uh there we go. Now the timing should work out close to perfectly. Uh, I have upgraded my computer. Before this game looked good, but now it looks like beautiful. Because I have it on the highest settings. Which is hella nice. some stick. Grab some stick. 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 Easy enough. Oh boy. How's everyone doing today? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm just swell. Thanks. <laughs> Are you just in the distance, or are you just, like, just getting back? I just got back. Ah, okay. <laughs> he sounded a little farther away. I was like, oh, shit, all right, hi. <laughs> all right, let's cook that up. Eat this venison. Uh, and how long has that got? 21 minutes? I can cook up some water during that time. Check out this cool little cave, Owen. Dark. Yeah, it's like it connects through. It's just ooh, it's nice. Yeah, Ash Canyon is really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I'll have to explore it a bit. Yeah. Uh oh, I just remembered as well. Remember how we started that Goblin Revolution? My players helped a co kobold revolution yesterday. I found it quite funny. <laughs> revolution <laughs> is just on the mind. It must be a French thing. Look, the little... Hey, we did it first. <laughs> we did it before the French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. They're just really known for doing a lot of it. All right. That's a way down. Well, uh, it's a, a fast way down, but painful, probably. I like this. Also, um, something that they've kind of done with the zone that I think is interesting is they have a bunch of ways that you can go down, but you cannot get back up when you go down that way. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's yeah. dope. Yeah, so you can be like, oh, I'm now at the bottom of the canyon, and I cannot get back up to that top. Yeah. All right. Um, I should probably make some coffee, but fuck it. Now, hopefully, when I get up here, it doesn't uh, blizzard again like this happened to me personally last <laughs> time. I got all the way up here, and then it just blizzarded. I was like, "Cool, I can't see where I am, and I haven't come across any wolves yet, so there might be wolves here. I don't know." <laughs> Just circling in the night. Yeah. Oh god. This map does have some. This region does have some pretty cool. Like I just look out. I'm like, that's a nice view. Like this could be the panoramic shot, but I just don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know. This I also think this region just does a better job of emulating nature. Right. Because there it's are just, there are just like a lot more just random trees, like different kind of trees just hanging around. Right. Yeah, it's just it feels a little more more natural. Yeah. All 
It is well done. <laughs> it's also a little silly at points, uh, because I have... <laughs> I have just wandered and just been like, what's that on the ground? And I just look and it's just some soup. I'm like, why is there just soup in the snow? There's nothing <laughs> nearby to make me think that there's like civilization nearby. Why is there soup here? Someone dropped some soup. Yeah. Soup time. I'm up here. Hello. Soup's on. Soup's on. Soup time. Now that's a mama mia. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah, you can walk down there. <laughs> and you can get up. Yeah, see? See that bridge? We can walk across that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I think, uh... I think this region is also much better at the sort of the Breath of the Wild feel, where you just look at something and be like, I can go there. A lot of it feels way more traversable than other, like, yeah, I obviously can go there because it's just flat ground. It's not like a, a crazy high mountain in a different area kind of deal, like. Right. Yeah. I got Breath of the Wild did something for me that, like, I've always griped about in games. Yeah. Yeah, which is I'd look at a pile of rubble or a pile of rocks or something. I'd be like, I could fucking find that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's basically stairs. Yeah. And, but it's like, nope, path's blocked. I'm like, I could climb that. <sighs> mm. And so Breath of the Wild was like, yeah, fun. Breath of the Wild was like, sure, you can climb that. <laughs> yeah, I was in, like, Game of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> For that alone. It's a very good game. Like, I always griped about that. I was like, a, a human could get over that. Yeah, reasonably. Especially a human that's doing some of the other things that this character is doing in game. Like, yeah. Like, why wouldn't it's I be? It's like, goddamn it. <laughs> oh. yeah. I like this area. I also like Hushara Valley. Uh, which is ironic because uh, the reasons I like those two environments are reasons that I hate Pleasant Valley. <laughs> you just, you got something against Pleasant Valley. Man. Pleasant Valley just sucks, man. It's just, it's just not fun to play in. <laughs> Area. It's much better designed. I don't know. I need to get down, and I don't know how. What if I just... Down in the sickness. <laughs> yeah. Come on, get down, get down with the sickness. Your oh, mother, get up. Get down, <laughs> Come on, your mother, get up. Get down. What's the... Hmm. Oh, God. What is it called? I don't know. What? The song that goes like... Go ahead now. That song. Uh, go ahead now. Oh. Um, keep keep going. I don't really remember much else. He's got time... Like, uh, God, the tune is escaping me, but it's like... Got diamonds in his pockets, and a lot of dough now, that a lot of bread now, or something like that. It's like, go ahead now, that that one. Go ahead now. Uh it's it's like the tip of go my tongue, now. but I also if, am I, I need like, if you wanna call me baby, go ahead now. If you wanna buy me flowers, go ahead now. That that's on. Uh, it's about like how like there are two dudes competing for uh, one woman and like he's like, Yeah, that guy's rich, but like I fucking love you. Uh -huh. That's that song. Uh, I ha I haven't heard it in a while, so Just I wouldn't. Go ahead know. now. That that song. Okay. <laughs> what what's that one? Chat, I don't help me. <laughs> Chat. Any any other music aficionados what's... who could help that one out? Come out here. Like I I feel almost like I dreamed it. <laughs> yeah. You just like I mean? their Pokemon. <laughs> no. No. That's different. <laughs> See, like, I feel like I, I almost feel like I dreamed of this song, but I know it's real. Pokemon one, I know it's real. <laughs> I don't feel like I dreamed it. I know it's real. I can see it in my head. <laughs> and it's driving me crazy. The world is conspiring against me <laughs> in this Pokemon thing. Uh, 
I got you. I got. I just started to sweat. <laughs> uh, two princes, I'm, I'm spin sweating. doctors. That's it. Thank you, Ethan. See, he knew what I was talking about. He, he knew that. That is, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're absolutely correct. Well, now you know. Pick up this fur. Go ahead now. That, yeah. Spin doctors. Oh, spin doctors is good. Haven't heard their music yeah. in a while. Uh, what else did they make? Uh, they made uh, Miss Never Wrong, Miss Always Right, Miss Never Wrong, something like that. Little mm -hmm. Miss Never Something, Always mm -hmm. Something. One of those two. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Jimmy Olsen Blues, they made that. Yeah. yeah. They're good. I don't, I don't listen to them often enough to know songs, but like I'll hear them and I'll be like, oh yeah, I like them. I, I, those, those are the three I know that they made. <laughs> those, yeah. those are the three. I was impressed you had that many, Owen. I'm not gonna lie. I know your I know your history with knowing songs. I hear a lot of songs. I just don't actively seek shit out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make a fire real quick and make some coffee so I can get up this. <coughs> Ethan, tell me, did you have to Google the lyrics I said, or did you hear my vague ass description? You were like, I know it. <laughs> Come on, little fire. Come on. Googled it. No, I'm not that. that didn't work. Well, I'm a little more disappointed now, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I was know. hoping that he just heard me be like, yeah, go ahead now, you know, the thing. And he was like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> Ethan wouldn't lie to us. He knows. All right. Uh, make some coffee. I got to melt some snow first, don't I? Because I'm out of water. Yep. All right, then we'll throw in the fucking fur fire log, and I'll I'll wait for the coffee to be done. In fact, I'm gonna speed it up because I don't wanna I don't wanna fucking waste time. Drink that coffee. Ethan wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ethan is actually like a pathological liar. Uh, that's intense of a description. <laughs> but like, would we know if he's good at it, you know? Uh, yeah, because we've caught Ethan in lies sometimes. A good liar gets caught once or twice and makes everyone believe they're a bad liar. Pathological means you cannot help but lie. Mm-hmm. That... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Are you telling me Ethan doesn't like dinosaurs? Stuff. Are you telling me he's lying to us about this? Uh huh. I. And you know how? Why I think that? Because the rest of us don't know enough about dinosaurs to refute anything he said. I mean, I guess he could have been lying about all of it. He could have been. Oh please! Oh please! Please. 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 Oh, all right. Oh. <coughs> I do not believe I am pathological or a good liar. I just get away with it sometimes because of my innocence. That's probably more accurate, yeah. <laughs> All right, I made it to High Meadow. Oh, I just broke my spine. Oh, hot. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Owen? Yeah, yeah, what? Well, ah. Are you dying? No, like, I grabbed my back, and then, like, my back started to, like, ah, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, just like that, yeah. I, I do know how the back just goes, ah! <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. Google it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> the back goes, ah. <laughs> well, this is cozy. <laughs> Were you there when I th told, when I uh, talked about how I think I gave myself, like, whiplash? Uh, probably. I think this is not the first time that I've heard that you've done this. This was only, like, a week ago that I talked about this story. I, I know I talked to Neil, but I think we might have been playing Crusader Kings. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and just tell me and stream. Okay, so it uh, we Isaac and I 
uh, Isaac White, where we were going yes. on a walk because it, it was snowing. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I like I need like to a... clarify which Isaac because I didn't because we didn't know. Well, you know, like some people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but like we were going on a walk because there was like a snowstorm. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so we were almost home. We were in front of the church that's right next to our house. Uh huh. And he stepped in like it was a like it was a pretty big snowstorm, and it had been really rainy too. Uh -huh. So there was a lot of slush. Uh -huh. And Isaac White stepped into a puddle that like went up like over his ankle, just into like his boots that he was wearing. Uh -huh. And so like I had walked around the puddle because I was wearing like uh, uh, yeah. shoes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm listening. And so uh. I started to laugh my ass off. Like I was looking at him laughing my ass off. Uh -huh. And so I stepped. And like I slipped, you know, like my foot like slipped up, mm -hmm. but like I, I caught myself and I corrected, but like I corrected by like jerking my neck in the opposite direction. Nah. <laughs> and I steadied myself so I didn't fall, but I think I gave myself whiplash doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> by jerking my neck like that. Uh... I hate it when I jerk my neck wrong. It ain't the first time I had a problem by jerking. Yeah. <laughs> it would be. Ah. <laughs> I always jerk correctly. I always take the proper safety precautions. I wear a wrist guard and everything. <laughs> I wear the Wii wrist guard. <laughs> <laughs> which I have attached to myself. At all times. The Wiimote wrist guard. <laughs> It'll protect me from jerking incorrectly. There's a rabbit grove up here. <gasps> a rogue. <laughs> Now, the real question is, can I find a rock so I can show stream that fucking despair... That fucking despair-inducing animation again? You showed it last time. I know, but Neil wasn't in here last time, so... Neil, have you seen the uh, animation that we're talking about? He hasn't seen much of this game, so I don't think so. God, it's the most brutal animation in a video game. <laughs> God, if I don't have a stone, I can't do it. I don't even know if he's Neil's still in here. He might be. He might not be. <laughs> Protect yourself and the others around you. Please keep the wrist strap out all the time. He says nope. Oh, fuck, now I have to. Yeah. All right. If let's... Joey can't, Google... Uh... Long dark rabbit. <laughs> I am mostly just listening. Oh well. Yeah, just like go on YouTube and Google long dark rabbit. It yeah. will come up. <laughs> it might just happen. I might not even get the choice because we've done it before in this game. I think you get the choice once per playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you choose to let it go. You know what I had the other day, Joseph? What? I, what I, I, I ordered out. I had, um, I, I had some shawarma. Did some shawarma? Yeah. How was that? It was good. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there's a little, like, uh, like it's called, like, Istanbul Bakery. Just near our house. Yeah. It, it's nice. That's the second thing I've ordered from there. The other thing I had was, like, just, like, a basically like a sampler dish uh -huh. really good they had like lamb and beef and like rice and like a really vinegary salad uh -huh. and then something that i didn't understand it was like an olive and some kind of oily pate i don't know i didn't know what it was yeah i couldn't figure it out but <laughs> i don't other know than that i never i've never really had a shawarma before so i i can't i can't say well, when you guys ever come to visit one of my apartments <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. Will you? Yeah. I mean, it's not really up to me. I'm not the one with the capability of it driving. It is up to you. You could get your mom to drive. No. She could visit too. <laughs> no. She's welcome. No. What do you mean, no? Are you saying she doesn't want to visit me? I mean, I'm She'd not. She'd probably be thrilled. <laughs> You're assuming a lot. My mom likes you. I don't think she wants to come see your apartment. <laughs> Where the fuck is a rock? You can come down with my mom. 
I mean, yeah, I could. Like, Ma, you're, you're coming up to visit, right? Grab Joey. I mean, yeah, you could. I wouldn't be opposed that'd, to that'd, it as long as... That would be a long car ride between the two of you. Listen, you know what I'll do? I'll just talk about her. I'll just talk about you the entire time. I know how to talk to mothers about their sons. <laughs> I have talked to Tanya White about Isaac White for years. Tanya White. <laughs> Tanya. Tanya. Yeah, Tanya White. Yeah, oh, you're right. Dude, Richard White cracks me up. Yeah. <laughs> Richard White's funny. Yeah, he's a guy. He's a card, that one. Is this the beginning of the game? Wait a minute. Is this how I got here? No, this can't be how I got here, right? Yeah, no, no. Oh, okay, well, this is kind of cool and a little gr eerie, especially with this dead deer here. Oh, Ravage the deer. Oh, I don't. Eh, I don't actually have food, so let's uh, let's just cut this boy open real quick. Find nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> cut this boy open real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that. Ethan said agreed. I don't know about what, but <laughs> oh, that Richard White's hilarious. Yeah. Maybe, but like that could be referring to any. Has Ethan ever met Richard White? <laughs> yeah. When? Isaac was on a ski team. Oh, they both ski. That's right. Isaac White's coaching the ski team. Ah, uh, yeah. The job from Ethan. Yeah, we we've heard about this. I remember <laughs> uh, Ethan talked to Ethan uh, uh, him about it. Yeah, ski team. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ski team was very close. I remember that. Mm. Being the just, only one I, of the Fab Five not on the ski team, it was it was felt during the winter months. <laughs> I just I've heard a lot of stories about the ski team from Isaac White. Yeah, like at one time he fell down like in a wooded section and he couldn't get up, <laughs> and like he was there for a long time, and Speth had to come and find him and like help him up, and like he <laughs> cried. Oh, <laughs> poor Isaac. <laughs> Yeah. No, he deserves it. Like, what the fuck, Owen? <laughs> no, he told me a story about when he was playing football where they were on, like, a run around town, and he was just like, you know what, fuck this, and went home, and the entire team, like, stayed out, like, looking for him because they lost him. <laughs> and, like, the coach went to his house to tell his parents, like, we can't find your son. And Isaac White answered the door. And he was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, I went home. I wasn't having it. Yeah, no, well, he hated it. He hated it. I only like short darks. Well, welcome to the longest dark you've ever experienced. Who's prone asparagus? Uh, it's a friend of mine. <laughs> it's a fellow Twitch streamer, Owen. Not every one of my, not what every one of my followers is just people that like. I know in real life. I do know prone in real life, but. <laughs> 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 Who's from this character? As. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's a valid question. I've never seen the name before. Ah. You haven't, haven't. I mean, listen, I, I have like 44 followers at this point. It's hard to keep track of all of them at points. We all know who Prone is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know he's a mod on Will Stream? I do Will Streams? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Owen, what the hell? <laughs> what? I didn't know that. Yeah. How was I supposed to know that? Will's been streaming much longer than I have. <laughs> but, like, how would I have found that out? Uh, yeah, mod on Schwilliam Stream? Yeah. <laughs> Like, why did I know that? I knew that. I knew that, like, from a few years ago. Uh, I prefer supine asparagus. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, we're going across another bridge. Are you ready? Bridge, bridge. 
Like, I literally don't know where we are. <laughs> I have uh, no... Joey, lost? I, I know nothing about Ash Canyon, so, like... Let me do a quick survey. Uh, we're here. <laughs> Does this clear anything up for you? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's good. I know good. exactly where we are. <laughs> that's good. What if I just fell off right now? <laughs> That'd be a way to end the stream. <laughs> yeah, just fall off. Oh, yeah. Like, well, I guess that's it. Oh, God, I almost just did. Oh. Oh. Good fucking Ajita. I finished my most of a bottle of wine and I'm not, I'm uh, lost as a human. Oh well, we are there is wine drinking going on right now. I assume Owen is still yeah. drinking it. I am still drinking it. Be like the raccoon in the beginning of Ace Ventura when nature calls. I love raccoons. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, and I think I found the mining town. I also found some rocks. So oh, I've had so much wine. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Well, Prawn, you missed yeah, our... Yeah. We did this last week, and Owen was also drinking wine then. God, am I anywhere near done? It's definitely wider. Uh, so I think a bear can just chill around here. Yeah, bears can chill wherever. They're Apex Predators. I know, but... They can chill wherever they want. I'm just letting us all know that I might see a bear, and I might get very scared. <laughs> very scared? Yeah, very scared. We can show wherever we want. <laughs> uh, it's true. Uh, on a locker. This cabin does not. Ooh, a light shell. Useful, but mm. uh, painkillers, a bed. That's tempting in of its, in it of itself. <laughs> it's prone to spare as an apex predator. <laughs> Or is prone asparagus a bear? Uh, good question to be. <laughs> well, if they're if you're one, you you could be an apex predator and be a bear. Uh, it's sort of like R squares rectangles kind of question. I'm not sure about the apex. Part. Uh, no. Is the answer no? I don't know. I'm not a biology major, Ethan. <laughs> no, the geometry. No. It's okay. Are squares rectangles? Yeah. What's the definition of rectangle? It is four. Uh, it has four ninety-degree angles and four sides. Squares are specifically that they have to all be the same length of side. Ah, you're right. Or, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. I used to be a math major. Gross. <laughs> It's not a thing that I learned being a math major. It's just a thing I learned by taking math with T, but... Ah, oh, T. What a guy. Love, love T. What a god, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, Sniffing markers and <laughs> calling people dubbers. What a time. Those halcyon, oh, day. Those halcyon days of yore. Can I search this body? Are you alive? Is that what I'm supposed to... Uh, I can't search this body, and I'm very, I'm very scared. <laughs> I almost failed college uh, algebra, but that's because I slept through most of it. Sometimes in class, sometimes in bed. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have to take it in college because I, I did very, I was very good at it. I just went straight to calc, calculus. I didn't have to take English classes. Yeah, because you did all the AP classes. Yeah. <gasps> and, oh, and look at that. Past those shits. Look at that little cob, little cobin at the top of the hill. A cobin? Look at that cobin. That's a pretty nice looking cobin. I want to go to the cobin. So I think, um, this little mining town, I've seen it before, but I've seen it up high. I think, no, that's not it. There's definitely somewhere around here. We might be close to the mine, is what I'm saying. Uh-huh. And if we can find it in the next three minutes, <laughs> technically six minutes, because I started a little late, we'll have achieved the one thing I wanted, but we probably <laughs> won't. <laughs> oh, this little cabin is so nice. Can I get into it? Is the bigger uh, probably. question. Probably. 
Are there any buildings in this game that you can't enter? Yeah. Where? Uh, Pleasant Valley. There are some buildings that are just, like, boarded up that you can't actually get into. Also in Mountain Town, but... Mountain Town's kind of easy as hell. Because it's supposed to be the beginning. The beginners. Ah, uh, the Foreman's Retreat. That's the best way to go through, get through college algebra. Oh, well, this is cozy. Look at this. Do you think there's a gun in here? Uh, maybe. I w uh, it's possible. The foreman. Yeah, the foreman. Maybe just in case there's those mice. There's a pickaxe. No, that's not a pickaxe. That's a broom. <laughs> just in case I saw those... a stick. <laughs> You're like, pickaxe. Yeah, what it's if? a mining town. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. No, I, I, I completely understood the pickaxe thing. I wasn't judging that. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a nice bed. You know, this is a mining town. I have yet to see a workbench, and I think that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> well, you know, they ship out unrefined ore. Sure, but what if one of their pickaxes break? They should, they should reasonably have to repair it. Oh, man. Blacksmith shit. Yeah? Yeah. Tell me more. It's just cool. Fair enough. Oh! My grandfather. My grandfather at his house had like a had blacksmith shit in like his like a shed. Yeah. I'm truly living up to that Blackwell name. Oh no, that was the Welsh Welsh oh. side. Did he also have goats? Rather sheep. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> are you are you making a Welsh people fuck sheep joke? I was just going with the Welsh people have a lot of sheep joke, but sure, let's go to the next step to it. <laughs> uh, I can't fucking see. Where's my... Alright, there we go. Went to Dover, Dover, England, and there was inflatable sheep in the bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, why? Why was there? <laughs> do you have to ask, Owen? I do. I think that's pretty apparent. I do have to ask. I almost got it, but it was like four pounds. <laughs> I also think it's funny that they had inflatable sheep in Dover, yet they always make jokes about Welsh people fucking sheep. <laughs> a bar had a place called Monkey Spunk. <laughs> what? Man, what the fuck is wrong with the English? Am I right? Like, <laughs> I got, I'm, I'm always so grateful that the revolution happened whenever we talk about England. <laughs> yeah. Got some strong opinions about them. Just so glad we don't have to be a part of that. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put some things in it. That's a fucking name and a half. All right. Uh, I have no light. Uh, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. Not gonna cut up the curtains. I'm not that crazy yet. Uh, light, 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 light. Man, I walked in more than I expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna read. Uh, technically, technically, I should probably wrap up soon. But my final paper for HTY 200 was about how the War of 1812 was just a revolution part two. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, sure. <laughs> what class was History 200? What was the name of that class? That's the the one he was talking about earlier. The denial. The silencing history one. Yeah. What does the War of 1812 have to do with that? I don't know. That's Neil. <laughs> English formula for a tavern name is cock and animal or racially insensitive words oh. here. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> wow. That's, that seems true. <laughs> Fucking roasted. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold out. Oh. Back into my hobble. Uh, oh, I, I really want to know where this fucking gold mine is, but I don't think we're going to find it today. <laughs> as sad yeah, as that is. 
I don't know if the internet knows where it is yet. Well, they must. Oh, the internet knows everything. Right yeah, they must. Where's the fire? Over here. Hey, can you look it up, Owen? Uh, I didn't come here to have responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, I can look it up. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like, like a lot of work for you that I don't want to do. Yeah, like I came here to be. I'm the, I'm the talent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my overall topic was the northern border and how people don't really talk about the conflicts that centered around it. Uh, oh, did you did you talk about how uh, did you talk about Newfoundland fishing rights? Owen's favorite thing. It's just so funny that it was such a big thing. Yeah. Please tell me you talked about Newfoundland fishing rights. <laughs> My ear is starting to get irritated, and I have reached three and a half hours of streaming. Okay. So where are you? I'm at the foreman's uh, retreat. About there on the map, if you're curious. Oh. Uh, so you're about there. Um. Hold on. I'm looking at the... I'm comparing your oh. incomplete map to a complete map. Alright. So, uh, the... The gold mine is in the northwest corner. Okay, is it on top of a mountain? It's near a mountain. Northwest corner. The north, like basically as far northwest as you can go. All right, if you're willing, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get there. Mm -hmm. I can send you a, a picture that shows paths to get there. Okay, that might help a, li a little. Like the era of revolution stuff in Canada, the War of 1812, the Aroostook War, and I didn't, and I didn't briefly talk about. <laughs> I didn't or did. Oh, I didn't really talk about the fishing rights. I only had seven pages to work with. Seven pages, nothing. My badge is coming along. I've almost survived. I've I've survived over five hundred days in the long dark. <laughs> Not over. Over half. Almost. I've definitely so, walked pretty uh, fucking far. So over two hundred fifty. Yeah. I sent you a picture. All right, hold on. Let me look at it. All right. Oh, that. I can get there, but that is far. All right. So I'd have to. All right. So we're gonna. I've I've walked the path before. Uh huh. But it is gonna. It's gonna take me a minute. And we might come across the bear. <laughs> One more fun fact about uh, apex predators and movies. Sure. Uh, in uh, most movies, the Lion King being the prime example, uh -huh. for lions' roars, they actually use tiger roars instead because they're more intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, right, lions' roars aren't like that loud, as I recall. Yeah. Well, they're they're like loud, but they're not like the rah, you know. Yeah, the rah. They're more like. Rah, rah. Yeah, <laughs> it basically they're... sounds like it basically sounds like an intimidating meow. Yeah. Wow. Whereas like, ti whereas like tigers got that like rah thing. Oh, know? speaking of intimidating growl, there's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an end goal in this game? Uh, live. Uh, yeah, live as long as you can. Uh, the story mode has some sort of end goal. Yes. The, but, there's the story mode. There's challenges, but yeah. in the in the just survival mode, it's just survival. Yeah. But there are modes that have goals. Yeah. If you're looking for like the story mode, I heard is very good. I try to play it every time, and then I just get bogged down. Yeah, because it does the whole tutorial thing. You're just yeah. Like I know how to play. Yeah, I'm like I listen, man. I am. I have played so much of this game. Like. Yeah. So it does like it's like. Ah. Yeah. There, 
Which is a shame because I really want to try the. Yeah. Story mode. I've I've heard it's good. I think they're about to. I know they reworked uh, episode one and two. I think episode four just came out slash is coming out. I think they planned right. to, for it to come out this year, but that got undone by you know COVID. By what? Uh, the COVID nineteen pandemic, my friend. Never heard of it. Well. Bears in movies don't roar on set, but are taught to just open their mouths. If they do roar on set, fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so I have... I, God, if Cheyenne is still in this chat, you gotta realize how fucking close I was to that gold mine last night, and I didn't reach <laughs> it. I think I might have accidentally taken the path that was, like, the go-down path and not the come back up. Oh, that's infuriating. Also, this is the bear's cave. <laughs> You can tell. He found his home. Yeah. Shouldn't could... these bears be hibernating? Okay. Well, maybe I think that's actually that's actually brought up because uh, I think the aurora like woke them up. And they're pissed. Yeah. They're like, I'm tired. I was really sleepy and now I'm awake. And that upsets me. Right, I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to run on things that uh, I can run on and don't have to. Like snow is not a good place to run. But those walkways, hell yeah. Alright. Definitely going on longer. I will definitely have to reheat my dinner. What are you having for dinner? Uh, my mom brought home pizza. Which is ironic, because it's also what I had for lunch. Man, I haven't had a pizza in a hot minute. That sounds good. Uh, they just opened up a Domino's in Norway, and I am so fucking ecstatic. I, I fucking love can... Domino's. I wonder if I could convince Isaac White to go have this on pizza. Uh, maybe. Pizza? We love it here. Svalberg, Norway? No. Norway, mm -hmm. Maine. <laughs> it's right next to Oxford, Maine. Svalberg. Svalberg? Svalberg? The home of the Doomsday Vault? Oh. I don't know much about that. <laughs> All right. Come on. I just want to find the gold mine. I want to be like, this is cool, right? Joey, let's play a game. Okay. I'm That's going it. to tell you a country. Oh. You tell me a city in that country. Okay. And it's, it's it's just a little experiment to see, like, what comes to mind of the average person who doesn't, like, you know. Uh-huh. I will let I will let you know that some of these things are going to be better than others because I've taken a few European classes. Yeah, well, that's part of the experience. I'm curious to see what comes to mind for shit you do know and shit you just are unsure of. Uh -huh. I'm, just, I'm curious. Um, okay. Let's see. Australia. Uh, Perth. Austria. Um, Wien. Belgium. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck is Belgium? <laughs> Uh, I just don't know where Belgium is. It's next to France. Next to France? Oh. It was, it was one of your vassals. Yeah, well, no, it was Brabant in that case. Uh, so, like, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it still Antwerp? Or is that, did that become the Netherlands? I believe Antwerp is in Belgium. All right, Antwerp. Oh, fuck that bridge. Yeah, no. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, there's many of bridges like that, and it, it's unsettling every time. Ah, uh, uh, France. Uh, Paris. Okay. Greece. Uh, Athens? Okay. Um, Turkey. Turkey. Uh, <laughs> Istanbul. <laughs> It's not Constantinople. <laughs> now it's Istanbul, not, not Constantinople. How about England? England? Uh, Cornwall. <laughs> Is Cornwall a city? <laughs> it's a county. It's a region, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a county. Uh, for city, I don't know. London. Ugh. How about 
Espana. Espana. Um. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm getting some, some fucking severe agita right now. Oh. You mean angina? No. Uh. Espana, uh, Venezia. Portugal. Portugal, um, Lisboa. Italy. Italy, uh, Pisa. <laughs> A good one. Um, China. Uh, Beijing. Japan. Uh, Kyoto. Thailand. I don't know Thailand. Bangkok. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, Germany. Germany. Um, I mean Berlin. Not Wiesbaden. No. How about Brazil? Brazil? Uh, Brazil. Oh, there's there's that place I've learned about. Yeah, there is a place. Uh, thank you, Owen. Um, I can't remember it, but it's Rio. Oh, um, Rio. Oh. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to think of. Very interesting. It's interesting that some of the places you just went like, you know, the most, like Paris uh -huh. in London, but others you were like, Perth. Perth? Well, that's the capital of Australia. It's the capital, but I would assume the, the layman would go Sydney. Yeah. So it's, it was just interesting to see the ones where you went, the ones you wouldn't expect, and the ones the ones you would. What are ones that you would think I didn't, wouldn't expect? I don't remember what you said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I asked or what you said, but it was interesting to see. I was really waiting for you to be Poland because I was going to be like Krakow. <laughs> okay. Lithuania. Uh, Lithuania. I don't know Lithuanian counties that well. Um, I can, do you know the capital? I don't anymore. I did at one point when I took my Holocaust class. No, I don't want to know the capital. Vilnius. Vilnius, ah, yes. Alright. We're close, Owen. We're so goddamn close. For reference, this is where I was when I saw the mining town, because right up here um, <coughs> is... You see this? There, there's the mining town down there. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them, I guess. Right. And this is a way down if I have the deploying rope, but I don't have any. Uh-huh. This is also where I was, like, kind of starving to death because I didn't have any food. <laughs> Slash am starving to death because I don't have any food. Okay, question for you and the chat. Okay. So, you're in a survival scenario. Uh-huh. You're starving to death. Uh-huh. What part of your body do you eat first to keep you alive? My ear. Your ear. Specifically, like, the cartilage. Is there a lot of sustenance in that? No, but I imagine that would be the first thing I'd go to. Okay. Okay. I'd carve off my my ass cheeks. Because <laughs> that, that ass <laughs> thick. <laughs> that ass thick. You like groceries. Eat that booty like groceries. <coughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I'm gonna do a, l a little map thing and get an idea of where I am. All right, I am here. Uh, I think I got rid of the image, but Owen. Uh huh. How how looking like this is this looking like? Can you zoom out? Can you zoom out to the maximum? I am. Okay. Now scroll as far northwest as you can. Then yeah, you're pretty close. Do I have to go down this rope though? Uh, go back to your map. Okay. So you're you're there. Um. Yeah, I'd say go down the rope and then go north. Okay. I think if I'm looking at the map correctly. 
wrist when I get to that landing. I've got a sprain risk. No. All right. Four hours sleep. Go. It's right here. We're so close. We're so close. Uh, also, last night I was so close to this mine. <laughs> so goddamn close. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's, uh, fun fact, it's actually just, I'm so close. I'm like a goddamn jiggle. Ready to burst. Like, no, no, no. Five more minutes, at least. What a, what a series. Uh, yeah, Battle Kid, a classic. I'm a real classic. I gotta go down another rope. I think. I'm not seeing any other way to go currently, so I'm going to assume I have to go down the... Is that it? No, that can't be it. That can't be it. That's up. I can't get up there. It could lead there. No, the rope was down. Oh. But it could be down there. Go down the rope. Yeah, I, I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> I want to find this mine. I'm going to end this stream as soon as I find this mine. I'm so close. I'm so close. Starving, both in real life mm -hmm. and in game. Oh, man, pizza sounds good. Yeah, it does. Can't wait to have some of that sick pizza. Ooh, water. That's great. What kind of pizza? Uh, if I had to guess, pepperoni. That's what I prefer. Pepperoni is like the loser of pizzas. Okay. <laughs> like. Like, cheese is basic, but everyone likes it. But then pepperoni is just, like, it's basic and, like, also, like, not great. Okay. <laughs> Agree to disagree. I like the fa I, li I like the, the busier pizzas, you know? I, I know like when a pizza's busy. I know you do. <laughs> like, barbecue pizza? Oh. Mm. Love me, a, like, a barbecue chicken pizza. Oh. Buffalo pizza? That's great. My dad uh, had a cheeseburger pizza today. Ooh, that shit's good. Uh, there's a on a local pizza place. Wait. There's a taco pizza that I want to try. I'm going down. That's not right. This isn't right. Oh, you you got to go up. But that's I had to. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna just toss myself from this. I have no food. I have no food. Nothing to eat. Should have been brighter prepared. <sighs> Fuck. Because I was like, there's no way I missed it. Because like. And that's a very long, a very long rope. Ugh. Ugh. Well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in general. <laughs> I have no food. I don't think might I have die. anything. Yeah, I might die. I don't think I have anything well. to cook. If you die, next time you stream this, you can just start an Ash Canyon. You're right. You know, let's end this off with a bang. Are you just going to jump to your death? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's see what happens, right? I mean, we know what happens. You die. Yeah. Oh, I have... S <laughs> what a time. I have six viewers, too. This is a perfect time to just jump to my death. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger warning. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I was kidding, but... <laughs> yeah, but I, now I thought about it, I'm like, that's a little morbid. <laughs> I'll, you know, I know where I am. I'll get to, like... I'll get to the fishing hut. Because I know where that is. And we'll just... We'll restart, <laughs> like, normal. I, I might still die, because I'm starving, but... But that's a... That's a little less gruesome. 
Oh, hello. <gasps> oh, and a hidden cash. <gasps> I love cash. That's a Polaroid. Okay. I've been to that one. I wish it had, like, food in it, but okay. You know what song I don't like for a very specific reason? Why? What? Uh, uh, Shake Me Like a Polaroid Picture. That song. Okay. It spreads misinformation. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost my well-fed bonus, which sucks. Oh, which means I now have to drop five pounds. Ooh, that's not great. That's quite a few pounds. Yeah. Well, five kilos, rather. That's even more, because that's more pounds. I'll drop this cooking pot. I guess I'll drop some wood. I'll drop these useless-ass books. Yeah, it's, it spreads misinformation. You're not meant to shake Polaroids. You can damage the image. Huh. Whack shit, yeah. Are you here speaking with uh, Polaroids of the U Polaroid pictures of the U.S. To, to let us know about this? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for being on our stream today. <laughs> I'm sure everyone this, now at this home. This was a this was a very special episode of, <laughs> <laughs> of streaming with Joey. All right. Liming down. Ugh. I can't believe I, again, was so close, and I missed it. <laughs> it's just... That's the suck, am I right? It's just infuriating. It's just like, how am I this stupid? Not just once, but twice. <laughs> Morgana's looking at me. Well, she's not, but I'm gonna act like she's looking at me disapprovingly. <laughs> so you just lied? No. <laughs> She's just got a disapproving look on her face, and I wouldn't say it's, like, directed at me, but, like, it could be. Oh, God. I thought she, like, wasn't even actually looking at you. Oh, yeah. No, no. She's, like... It's... Like, you're, like, Morgan is looking at me, like... Well, she's not, but, you know, I'm gonna pretend. <laughs> no, no. I was, like, oh, cool, so you're just lying. <laughs> no, no. Is pretending lying? I... It depends. On the scenario. Yeah. Like... I, I think the difference is if you're pretending, other people are in on it. <laughs> mm. Like, both people are pretending. I if guess. Both, like, playing pretend is a good example. Mm -hmm. If only one person's playing pretend and the other person's just living life, then yeah, it's lying. <laughs> but I guess it comes with intent. Like... It's the difference between the kid being like, look, mom, I'm a knight. They're playing pretend. But if you tried to walk up to someone and be like, yeah, I've been knighted. That's lying. It's the difference of trying to pass it off as the truth. And just like, I, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Now I think it's, I think it's escaped me, my, my thought on it. a piece so bad yeah <laughs> like real bad yeah go don't yeah. don't hold it in that's like dangerous like, for your health I've, i like i think at this point i've drank like a uh, whole bottle of water owen oh, and you've well, been drinking it's, wine <laughs> it's hard to estimate uh-huh because you know it's a box y but yeah i think it probably is equivalent to a bottle oh i see I'm just hustling because I'm trying to get to where I need to go so fast. I know it's around here. All right, I'm going pee. All All right. I'll, be back. I'll be back. All right. All right, we are so close, guys. I'm going to end this stream so soon. I mean, like, you don't have to stay if you don't want to. If you've got, like, other shit going on, I understand. Um, but... We tried to find the gold mine. I once again was very close, and then I was like, this is where I gotta go, and then it just wasn't. There's a wolf nearby, too. Um, and I was once again disappointed. I'm committed at this point. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. I at least appreciate that. Um, I believe, yet I've said that a few times, that the, uh, 
I think the the angler's uh, angler's abode is somewhere in here, and that's where we can end it because it's a nice safe spot, nice little safe area to to starve to death. It probably has food. There it is. All right. Well, we've made it. Oh, here. Actually, to make sure I super don't starve to death. I don't care if I'm overweight. Eat. Two cat tail reeds. That's enough to sustain me. Alright. Here we are. This last little abode. This is where... I'll take that water. This is where we will... Call it for the day. I think it'll be dark in here, but I'll just light up. Yeah, it's, it's dark. I'll just light a light. Alright. Well, it's nice enough in here. Uh, got some dog food, some fishing tackle, some more dog food. No? Oh, granola bar. Perfect. It was moldy. I'm glad I ate it. Didn't get food poisoning, though, so we're all set. <laughs> um, but I think that's... Where we'll end it, I'll, I'll wait until Owen gets back, which I'm sure will be just around the corner, unless he really... Well, I won't get gross with it. Like, I shaved today. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, because, you know, I found out we were having company over. Uh -huh. And, like, I, I haven't shaved in a minute, because, like, everyone, like, we know is, like, out of the area, because they've gone home oh, for, like, break. Uh-huh. And if I'm going anywhere, I'm wearing a mask. Yes. So, like, I just haven't felt the need to, like, take time out of my day and, like, shave. Understandable. But, but I did today because we were having company. And, like, you know, I, I don't grow facial hair well. And it screamed one of two things. It was either, like, I'm in high school or I'm not allowed within 500 feet of a high school. Uh, yeah. You know, it screamed <laughs> one of those two things. It's a very so I, I shaved today. Uh-huh. And I just looked in the mirror, mm -hmm. you know, while I was washing my hands. Uh -huh. Boy, man, I feel fresh-faced and young. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing the difference it makes. Even yeah. if you have shit facial hair, it's amazing what happens. Yeah, I can feel that. Like, I just, like, I look in the mirror, I'm like, man, I look, I look, I look young. Mm -hmm. I look good. <laughs> I look like a young yeah, buck. I look supple. Uh-huh. Well, Owen, uh, we we done it. I'm going to eat some dog food to <laughs> to finish this up. I might get food poisoning. That might be something we deal with uh, the next time we play this. But right, didn't get food poisoning. So <laughs> with that, uh, I think that'll about do it. Thank you, guys. I'll, I'll go to the title screen. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed me wandering not in Ash Canyon until like we got to Ash Canyon in like the last 40 f hour, I guess. <laughs> I then struggled to find the thing. Look at this little, little cozy image. This is a place we can go to. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I don't know where it is, but we can go to it. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming along. Thank you, Owen, for joining me again. Of course. Uh, Someone needs to carry this train. Ah, there it is. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed yourselves, please give yourself a follow. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to check out more of my stuff, you can check out my YouTube for some VODs that I do of Pokemon. Uh, I just uploaded another one not too long ago. I don't actually know because I just hit the export button and it eventually just uploads. So I think it was yesterday. Um, you can also check out my Discord for all of my schedule changes and such. Uh, and for those of you who follow me, still stick around. Tiny hearts. You guys are great. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're great. I love you all. Um, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some Persona 4? I believe that's what's going on. Yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything else. Persona 4. Yeah. Awesome. Have a good night, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.